looks like we're live. What's going on, guys? Name's Corey. You're probably watching the recorded version if you're catching this part of the message of the stream. Usually nobody ever sees this part. But uh, anyways, guys, good morning. Ohayou gozaimasu. It's really windy again. So uh, bear with me with the wind noise during the stream, guys. But uh, yeah, so <laughs> every every almost every time we stream, it's always a windy day. Like why? All right, just letting for uh, letting the notifications go out. Wait for people to tune in. There's like no not windy spot. <laughs> People here, people tuning in. Yo, Ibrahim, good morning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chat lag. Hold on one second. Yeah, Ibrahim, Valen, Pixel, how are you doing? Daniel Stellner, what's up? Sandra C, TK, Tamela, how are you? Good morning. Ohio Gozaimas. Good vibes. Good vibes. How are you guys doing? How's everybody? We're finally live, and I apologize, guys, for the wind noise. It's another windy day. There's nothing that can be done about it. Uh, Modern Picasso, hey mom, how are you doing? Uh, Velvet's Revenge, Koala G, Fox Mulder, how are you? Uh, Rebecca in the house, Kai O'Brien, how are you? Tatiana, hello, hello, hello. Good morning, guys. It's been a year already, yes. Um, wow, I can't believe it. Today, April 10th, is uh, the day I arrived back to Japan last year, after like 20 years of living outside of Japan. Uh, Tamela says, doing okay, we got the wind here today as well. Yeah, you have sunglasses? I do. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a very sunny day, and it's also very windy. You could probably hear the wind noise in the trees and stuff just outside. So, yeah, I hope you guys are doing okay. Everyone, uh, everyone doing fine? Yeah, I'm just uh, gonna wait like another minute before I uh, start walking and stuff. Love the sound. Uh, do you have your face mask? I do. I do. It's in my bag right here. But uh, I don't really need to wear it here because there's nobody. I mean, there, there are a few people here and there, but like, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm literally in my building and uh, we're going to be walking around my neighborhood like last time and there's not too many people in my area so it uh, should be pretty chill but uh if we get to an area where there's there starts to become like some people walking around on the sidewalk or something uh, i definitely will wear a mask and of course keep my distance uh kai says uh love your stream so much but i never catch them i set an alarm for 3 a.m today thanks for doing them <laughs> thanks for tuning in yeah 3 a.m so it's got to be you're in europe then huh Laura says, uh, what a, whoa, the wind, uh, what a difference a year makes, I know, right, it's crazy, uh, time flies, time flies, guys, is your area locked down, yeah, Pixel, Japan, there's no such thing as a lockdown, um, I think I mentioned that in my last stream, that Japan, by law, can't lock down anybody, all they can do is ask people, kindly, please stay home, of course, uh, I'm looking out there, there's like people walking their dog, there's like a guy on his bike. There's someone sitting at the park. Um, so there's no lockdown. It's it's a, a an emergency declaration, uh, but that doesn't really mean anything. It just means please stay home, please, pretty please. <laughs> uh, you had a wind chill, 28 all day. That sounds very cold, mom. Yeah, it's uh it's very windy here too. It it feels pretty cold. My hands are very cold. It's probably in the upper 50s, lower 60s. Yo, Christine Kim, how you doing? Houdinis, what's up? Adam, aloha, how's it, brah? I thought some prefectures are closed this week. Yeah, Pixel, so here's the thing. The, the prefectures are under declaration of emergency, but a declaration of emergency is not a lockdown. Japan, by law, can't lock down at all. Um, they can tell certain businesses to close or close early, but, uh, and then tell people to like just stay home, but they can't force anybody to stay home, like at all. Uh, so the police, if they see you walking around, they can't do anything. They can't find you, they can't make you go back home. Um, 
Yeah, so my prefecture, there's I think six prefectures, and I think the Aichi prefecture also is uh, going to announce a declaration of emergency. And um, yeah, so people are trying, people are trying to stay home. There's usually an announcement um, that they broadcast over the neighborhood, just telling people like, hey, like, try to stay home as much as possible. Uh, if you have to go out, wear a mask, practice social distancing, but that's it. Like, it, it doesn't say like, you can't go out. Swan Sox, how you doing? From Germany, okay, Kai, nice. Sanja says, don't wanna make you feel sad about my dog. Oh, I'm so sorry. Condolences and hearts to you and your dog. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, Daniel says, uh, San Diego people are getting fined a thousand if they're at the beach. Yeah, Hawaii too and some other places as well. Northern area had snow showers, really? What's up, Tom Schwartz? Oh, Blackie, yeah, what's up, Blackie? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How do you say good morning in German? Good Tim Morgen. Um, I'm guessing Disneyland is still closed. Yeah, the, the parks and stuff are, uh, like that are closed. Um, the Tokyo government, so how do I explain this? During the declaration of emergency, they're suggesting that uh, shopping malls and schools and karaoke bars and those kind of things like close, but a lot of places aren't closed. And um, so the Tokyo government, uh, the governor, Koike, she's trying to lock down Tokyo. She wants, she wants a real lockdown. Why doesn't Japan have the lockdown law? I don't know why. <laughs> um, so they're, they're trying to lock it down. Um, but Shinzo Abe, the prime minister in the central government, they're like, oh, they just keep thinking about money. They, they don't care about the health. They keep thinking about the money. And so they're like, oh no, we're, we're gonna allow bars and restaurants to open until 8 p.m., only until 8 p.m., and then it's gonna be closed. And it's like, what, are you kidding me? So anyways, sorry, I, don't, I, I get so stressed out when I read the Japanese news. I'm just like, I, I face palm so hard. Um, your prefer, uh, prefecture Chiba isn't included within state of emergency. Yeah, it is, it is, Chiba is included. There's Tokyo, Saitama, Chiba, uh, Ibaraki, um, Hyogo, and I forget where else, um, but Chiba is one of them, yeah, since we're right outside of Tokyo. A lot of people that live in Tokyo commute to and from work in uh, uh, Chiba, commute to and work from uh, Chiba. Where are you now? I'm in my apartment, or yeah, my building, I'm in my hallway. Hopefully don't wait before it's too late. Yeah, uh, yeah, just like New York. Yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, Albi, how you doing? Let's go ahead and take a look at today's view. Yeah, so we're starting off the stream here with uh, my apartment building. This is not my balcony. This is just the, the building, like hallway balcony. Here's the hallway. And it has this um, little like kind of viewing area right here. And it's really windy, guys. I'm so sorry. Yo, ohayou gozaimasu, Jeff. Hi, genki desu. Yeah, so it's it's a very nice day. It's it's nice and sunny, but uh, as you can see here, there's just like a lot of wind action going on. So it's just another one of those days, guys. Another windy stream. <laughs> Egypt did a lockdown like that, close at eight, which is not going to help the situation. Yeah, it, it's not going to help the situation at all. And there's still businesses requiring employees to go to work, so they have to commute to by train to work, like. It's really crazy, really, really crazy. Um, yeah, Fukuoka is also on lockdown, or not lockdown, but uh, emergency. Okay, because I know um, Aichi Prefecture was not included in that list, but the, the the governor of Aichi was like, yo, I'm putting myself on declaration of emergency. Yo, B-boy, aloha, aloha. <laughs> How are you doing, man? Yeah, so guys, we're celebrating my one year anniversary back to Japan. I, I came back to Japan one year ago, so um, I just want to say thank you to my mom and uh, my dad. They, they definitely helped me out. Whoa, whoa, it's so windy. They definitely helped me out like with the whole process of coming here. Like If it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't be here, <laughs> uh, or maybe I wouldn't have come here um, as, as early as I did. But, uh, and for all of you guys, to all my friends, um, you guys really helped me through some, some tough times, and I really appreciate it. So I just want to say thank you, and um, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you.
What's up, Jason? How's it, bro? Okay, let's turn the camera around again. Okay. And uh, let's just kind of start walking. I know you guys are stuck at home. I hope you guys are taking care. I know a lot of you guys have been like on actual, like real lockdowns, unlike Japan. Where's Mount Fuji? Uh, Fuji-san is supposed to be straight ahead, but uh, it's definitely um, like you can't see it. It's just, it's too hazy, too cloudy. It, it should be like right there. You should see it straight ahead. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, it's just it's just one of those days you can't see it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing okay at home during lockdown and uh, staying safe, eating good food, you know, doing some hobbies, keeping sane. So uh, part of that, part of uh, this thing is for me to help you guys get out of the house. Even though you can't technically get out of the house, you can virtually get out of the house by coming along on this uh, walk around my neighborhood here in Japan. Yo, Addy, what's up? Uh, Swan Sox says, I just finished week four of staying in place. I look forward to your walk so much. Yeah, all right, let's, let's head out of here. So I do apologize guys for the wind noise. It's crazy. So where are we going today? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I had a plan to wake up earlier and ride my bike out to this one place that has like this massive roller slide, but uh, it's too far and it's getting like, it, it was getting closer into Tokyo and I was like, it's technically in Tokyo Prefecture and I was just like, ah, I'm just going to not do that. <laughs> so. Um, at least I got to sleep just a little bit longer before starting this stream. Yeah, the blue skies. You guys can come out and jog, run with me. You guys can run in place if you have a treadmill, or maybe you could. Just, if it's if uh, if you're watching this like in your living room on a TV or a computer, you could just stand up and pretend you're walking and walk in place. Anella, how are you doing? What's up, Peppermint Patty? Hope you're having a great day, too. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Jeff, you just had some pepperoni pizza. I am jealous. So I, I really don't know where I'm going right now. Like, we're, we're just going to walk, guys. We're going to get out. We're going to see the outdoors. Just get some sunshine. Look at the trees. Listen to the wind noise. That's going to be really, really annoying throughout this video. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Damn, Leno, how you doing? It's windy as hell in DC too. Yeah, my mom just said it's uh, really cold, 28 degree wind chills, and there was some snow in the northern Maryland area. You had an Oreo flurry. Oh god, the wind. Like, I don't know if you can see the trees right there, the, the bamboo. You can just see how windy it is. It's, they're all just flying all over the place. Anella says, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. How was your week? Uh, how has your week been, Corey Pixel? It's been good. Um, my work finally opened up online teaching, so I don't have to go into Tokyo. But there's still very few students booking classes. Uh, I, I've been off for four days now. Like, today's day number four of just no classes. Were those walls built during the Edo period? Adi, uh, <laughs> no, they weren't. Um, but there's a lot of stuff built during the Edo period here because uh, we're actually right by the Edo River. The Edo River is like down by Matsudo Station in that general direction, about uh, two kilometers from here. The trees be dancing. They are dancing. It was snowing earlier in Minneapolis. Yeah, that late, late winter blowing through, huh? You love my neighborhood, Jeff? I do too. There's just like nobody. As you can see, there's no cars, there's no people. So I don't have to wear a mask right now. Ajax, how you doing? Good morning. You called out of work today? Good. Is Tokyo on lockdown? Um, no, there's no such thing as lockdown in Japan. It's just a declaration of emergency. Um, 
which just unlocks some resources for local governments to like provide better medical equipment and um, they suggest people to stay home but there's no way by law they can't force anybody to stay uh, at home so anyways uh, yeah social distancing uh, check out this red tree isn't that awesome you want to go to the Tsukiji Outer Market? Yeah, that's going to be closed. <laughs> well, I mean, there's probably some vendors that are open, but because um, restaurants are allowed to be open and they're allowed to have customers eating inside still. Part of the declaration of emergency allows restaurants to open. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, the Tokyo governor, um, her name, uh, her last name is Koike, She's uh, trying to actually lock down Tokyo. Like, she really cares. She's like, lock it down, guys. Just lock it down. Everyone's going out still. You're not forcing them to stay home, so they're going out. And um, Shinzo Abe is like, no, we need money. We need money, the economy. So let's keep businesses open until 8 p.m. And because the businesses are open, the people are actually going out. And they're going to the restaurants. Koika is like, stop it. <laughs> And everyone's like, stop it, just lock it down. But uh, Shinzo doesn't listen. The central government doesn't care. They just care about their pro like profits, their losses. Yeah, beautiful red trees. Okay, sorry, I don't want to... I get so stressed out when I think about how Japan has been mishandling this entire freaking thing. It's so late and still not treating it seriously. Yeah, the virus will wait till 8 o'clock, then it'll come out. So, until 8 o'clock, it's completely free. Virus free. So stupid. Uh, Awkward Aquamarine, welcome back. Yeah, we just started. Karen says, uh, we were told not to go shopping, just to stay inside. Um, free forces. does your government have some type of unemployment insurance? Uh, so they have some kind of stimulus package plan that they're trying to help people who are either unemployed or they lost, you know, got laid off or they're just not making enough money anymore because they can't go to work or, or you know, like for people like me, um, people just aren't booking classes. So I'm not making any money. Um, so actually there's a problem because they haven't implemented it, uh, implemented it yet. So there's uh, some foreigners who, you know, lost their job. And they went to the office and they were just like, hey, like, you guys talked about this money. Uh, can we get it now? Because I got, I got bills to pay. And they're like, oh, yeah, we haven't set that up yet. And so it's just like, what? It's, uh, it's getting pretty desperate here in Japan. People think, Blaine, what's up? People think Corona's a fraud. There's still people thinking that, yeah. Japan is beautiful. All right, sorry if, if I'm missing a lot of chat. It's because I can't see it. It's going by too fast. It's the same in the U.S. It seems like the local news are being more forceful about protecting citizens. Good. A little too late. They should have jumped on that back in January or February. But um, while well, I was doing a pilot curfew this weekend, 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. Wow. Canada people on employment insurance get 2000 per month. Eller Blaze, welcome back to the stream. Yeah, I think uh, Japan is offering up to $3,000, but it depends on like your qualifications and all this other stuff. But they haven't even implemented it yet, which is the annoying thing. So there were some foreigners on Twitter complaining about that. They're like, I went to the office today. You know, I waited, and then they found, they were like, oh, this, this, and they sent me around, like, the bureaucracy of Japan, like, go to this window, go to this window, go to this window, talk to this person, talk to this person. No one had any answers. So, yeah, this is uh, the closest, well, sorry, second closest shrine to my house. There's another one that's even closer, but uh, I went the other direction. What's up, Jessica? How are you? So it's just, like, these nice stone like lantern things you thought this was someone's backyard yeah they just these uh whoa it got really dark um these kinds of things just pop up out of nowhere huh we're walking and suddenly bam shrine 
Layla, how are you? Brian Height, how's it going? From Ohio. Ohio gozaimasu. So, I know a lot of you guys are on lockdown, so that's why I'm doing this stream. Or that's why I do these streams, to just get out of the house and um, try to help you guys uh, feel like you're outside again. <laughs> it is windy though, so I apologize. What's the shrine called? Uh, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, I can't read the kanji. It's too too complicated for me. But uh, I think it says it on Google. Jazzy says, hit that like button, everyone. Yeah, yeah, guys. Let, let's try to get 100 likes at least today, again. I think that's the goal for every video. At least 100 likes and, uh, if possible, like 100 viewers. What are we at now? Oh, we're at 70 already? Holy crap. What's up, guys? Jessica, you're doing good? Glad, uh, I'm glad you're doing good. And look at this. Got some nice uh, Japanese... The red leaf. The maple. Jason says... Whoa, whoa, what, what did Jason say? This donkey YouTube influencer... Was complaining about... Kicked out of Hawaii even though she wasn't following the laws. Okay. <laughs> she was like banned from Hawaii? 1,000 subscribers. What's up? Anna, how are you? From Boston. From Baston. How you doing? You should set the goal higher. 101. That's true. We gotta reach reach for the skies, guys. Aim high. Smashed it. Thanks for the reminder. Nice. Uh, Velvet says, do you know which neighborhood you're walking around? Yeah, this is a Kamihongo. This is my... Like, I'm... I'm near my house, so this is Kamihongo. I am still in Kamihongo. I didn't leave it. So I live in Kamihongo. The Kamihongo neighborhood is located in Matsudo City. Even though it's not like really a city city, but they call it city, Matsudo Shi. Oh, there's a person. I'm gonna stay away. Yep, you can get banned from Hawaii? Good. If you act like an idiot, you, you should get kicked out. <laughs> uh, what is stopping English teachers from starting their own business through Skype or Zoom and skip the middleman? Um, there's a lot of paperwork. You need to legally do it. You need to... I mean, people can do it under the table, but it's not legal. Because uh, any income you make while in Japan, you need to file taxes and you need to be registered. Um, there's, there's all this like paperwork stuff, so uh, I'm sure there's people that do it. Lots of private lessons and whatnot. Um, but the problem with that now is like, uh, so how are you going to get students? If I set up now, how am I going to get students? Because I can't really advertise anywhere, like around here. <laughs> um, you need permits from the local area to put up posters. So there's all this like paperwork. Oh god, it's windy. Ah. There's all this paperwork. And uh, my, my students from my job, like, uh, in my contract it says I'm not supposed to teach them outside of the school, like, privately. And uh, the other part of that is I don't have any of their contact information. Like, the school withholds their phone number and email address from me. So I don't know anything. I don't know how to get a hold of them. Uh, whoa, this house is run down. So masks are available now? No, Deanna, uh, definitely not. There's still zero masks available. Oh, she didn't self-quarantine. I see, that's why. What about italki? Oh, yeah, that, there's, that's different. That's, um, that's like teaching online, and then you're, you're doing it through a, through a company, and then so they do all the, like, back leg work and stuff. They have their sites that, you know, you log into, and so they have the infrastructure for teaching online. But if you're just trying to do it like straight up just you and the student through Skype or something and then they give you some money under the table, um, you could get in trouble for that. Yo, Karen with a $10 Super Chat donation. Thanks, Corey, for taking us on a relaxing walk. Yeah, thank you, guys. Let's get some hearts and chat for Karen Kai. Um, I do apologize for the wind noise. It's just, it's just one of those days, guys. You know, it happens. You hear a rail crossing. Yep, yeah, let's try to... Oh, I can't go up there. There's the train. 
This is the closest station to my house, literally the closest one. It's Kamihongo Station. So I guess, uh, I guess I'll go that way. But I am trying to avoid, uh, getting, going where people are. <laughs> What does that 30 mean on the pavement? Oh, here. This is a zone. Um, 30 kilometer zone. So 30 kilometers maximum in, in these back streets. Yeah, so it's a beautiful sunny day, guys. I hope you're doing well. Take care. Uh, oh, I'm going to put my mask on. second. I gotta put my mask on because we're getting close to the station. Avoid people. What are we planning to eat today, Corey? I don't know, Jessica. Um, I haven't thought about that yet. Uh, it looks like they're building a convenience store right here. This used to be an empty lot, like just two weeks ago. That's really fast. All right, one second. I gotta, I have to use my uh, hands to put this on. Okay, there we go. I got my mask on. You think it's a family mart? It could be. It could be anything. It could be a Lawson at 7-Eleven. I don't know, but it's definitely a Kombini. Yo, Jason with the $5 super chat. Thank you, sir. Let's get some hearts and chats for Jason for essential snacks and drinky drinky. Yeah, buddy. Thank you, sir. Lady Laser in the house. Green Apple, how are you doing? foolhardy what's up so this is a Kamihongo station this is my local station it's on the Shinkeisei line it's a smaller line it, it stops like at little small residential areas mainly so I don't really take that when I go to work or when I used to go to work This is the, the little, uh, the circle here, the circle around the station. It's a 7-Eleven, we got a Pizza Hut. I think I've showed this to you guys before. But yeah, we're gonna, um, we're gonna get away from these people. <laughs> Just try to stay as much, uh, oh, maybe we can see the train. Well, I'm gonna go back. Yeah, it's the pink train line. <laughs> I'm trying to see if we can see this uh, train come through. It's like an anime, guys. Yay! Is that the south gate of Matsudo? I don't know. Um, I don't know the specifics. It might be. Does it feel like you lived there for a year? Uh, kind of. But I mean, time also has flown by. It really flew by fast. I can't believe it, guys. There it goes. The Shinkeisei line train, pink line. continue so yeah businesses around here are still open um, that hair salon is open oh yeah so the the, the central government is tr you know I think I told you guys um, they're trying to keep a lot of businesses open as much as possible so they don't lose money so the economy doesn't tank and uh, they're saying that uh, like DIY stores such as you know similar to like Lowe's or like home home improvement stores are considered essential. Barber shops are essential. Um, beauty salons are essential. I forget what else is 
but um, it's really it's really crazy the list of things that they're considering essential. I was like, that is not essential. A DIY store is not essential. Like, gotta do my garden project. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Andy? How you doing? Uh, Jason says, what kind of law ordinances are there regarding drones? Uh, so before there wasn't really much ordinance other than, you know, don't fly over crowds. And there's certain areas of Tokyo you're not supposed to fly um, around. Uh, I flew my drone around here a few times, but um, yeah, now I think they're making a new law that's going to try to uh, control drones uh, being used in Japan even more. Like you're gonna have to get an actual license. Awkward Aquamarine is working home, uh, at home as a freelance copy editor. Yeah, furloughed workers, feeling it. Lost in the curve. Hardware stores are open in the USA. Yeah, is sake? You mean sake? Sake is not a thing. It's called sake. Um, sake essential? It might be. Beyond change, how you doing? Liquor stores remain open in Canada. Considered essential. Same with marijuana. It makes sense. Avalon, how are you doing? Where are we going? I don't know, but uh, looking at people's yards and stuff. In Massachusetts, uh, liquor stores are considered essential, but pot stores aren't. That's interesting. I don't know. If you guys are going out to these essential stores, uh, please, please, please take care of yourself. Yo, what's up, Frank? How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you. Yeah, we're uh, we're getting out of the house to just walk around, get some fresh air. Um, obviously, you can see there's not really many people out here. No cars, so it's it's pretty chill. I just took my mask off again, and um, doing good. I'm trying to show you guys uh, a little bit more of Japan from the first person perspective of what it just really looks like to walk around residential Japan. And uh, I know a lot of you guys are locked down, so I hope you're doing well. And uh, you guys enjoying the video. Oh, what was that? Sasha Hart, yo, with the $5 super chat, says it's not as much as I'd like to send, but buy yourself something. Thank you, Sasha. Let's get some hearts in the chat for Sasha Hart. <laughs> How you doing, Sasha? Thanks for tuning in. Um, I kind of want to just keep going straight, I guess. Yeah, and I apologize again. I'm gonna I'm gonna apologize continuously throughout the video, but uh, it's very windy today. Um, wow, we've already got a hundred viewers. What's up, everybody? Ohio gozaimas. Ooh, we got some tulips. I got distracted. I like this person's entranceway. Some flowers. It's like a little mini garden on their steps. Very cool to see Japan. Yeah. I know a lot of you guys are locked down, so um, I'm trying to help you guys. Help you feel like uh, you're walking around outside. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to hit that like button, guys. We're trying to get more than 100, 101 likes today before the end of the stream. Tiptoe through the tulips? <laughs> That's like in someone's planter. Just got back from the grocery store and your neighbor neighbor gave me a nice grill. Whoa, Sasha, that's awesome. Score. Don't ever apologize. We love everything in this stream. Oh, thanks, Ibrahim. Really appreciate it. It's pretty until a spider jumps out. Yeah, Koala G, I know you hate spiders. What is going on here? Why is there just like a pile of trash? Is this abandoned? I wonder what happened. It's like uh, in this house, they just like chucked everything out the back window. There's like books and like appliances and stuff. That's really weird. 
Yo, Quan Chan, how are you? 200 likes for you? Sweet. Yeah, T. Hartwig, it is a very nice day. Uh, it is windy, but it's still really, really nice. Um, what's going on this way? <laughs> Foolhardy says, lockdown. What day is it again? <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people, um, especially people that I follow, like on Instagram and stuff, some, they just lost track. They're like, what is it, day 23, day 24? And they just, like, can't remember. I can't imagine being, like, on a lockdown like that. Whoa, so many questions all at once. Whoa, 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 hold on. Let me try to read them. This liking this should get you banned? Nah, it's okay. Uh, playing some relaxing music while watching the stream. Nice, Jason. Uh, Lost in the Curve says, hubby stuff thrown on lawn by wifey. Maybe. Frank says, how's the weather? It's beautiful. Beautiful day. Nice and sunny. But it's very windy. And uh, that tends to be the trend on my streams. When I walk around, it gets all windy. Like yesterday and the day before, it wasn't so windy. Chaotic yard sale? Maybe. Check out this person's gate. They've got the that pine tree or whatever being formed to grow over the gate. It's pretty cool, huh? Is that a real flower? Yeah, there's all these real flowers around here. What city are you in? I'm in Matsudoshi, Avalon. It's um, just outside of Tokyo, about like 20 kilometers northeast. Where are we headed today? I don't know. There's no official goal. It was just to like get out, avoid people, and um, help you guys feel like you're out of the house. Because I know so many of you guys are locked down. So that's pretty much it. How's the alcohol and hand sanitizer situation? Uh, can't find, haven't been, haven't found hand sanitizer or like rubbing alcohol or anything similar to that in like two months. Masks as well, completely gone. But we do have TP. We finally have TP um, as of like two weeks ago. But uh, everything else is still like completely sold out. Rocky Road Candy Bar and Seven Up Fox. That sounds so. Not good for you, but also at the same time, amazing. Person's backyard here. Nice trees. Yeah, we're definitely social distancing today. Um, whenever I see a person, I completely walk in the opposite side of the road from them or sidewalk. You just found a big thing of TP? Sweet. Mirror selfie? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, it was back there. Maybe the next mirror will do a mirror selfie. You haven't seen TP in over a month? I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, so, oh, wow. Swan socks. You were able to get some TP in Boston, huh? Did you go back to that store that had TP? Oh, Pixel, uh, from last week's stream, that Licks convenience store? Uh, no, I didn't because I, I already have TP, so I didn't need to go back. But uh, at least I know, I mean, I don't even have to go there because that place is, it's like, I think two stops by train away from my house. And um, I don't need to do that. I need to, uh, I can just go to the supermarket right by my house and they have toilet paper. Any food in mind? Uh, Frank, not really. Um, I think today, if, like, if there's any food that we're going to be eating, it's going to be um, from a convenience store. Lol Lap, it's been three years since saw you last time. I hope you're doing great, Corey. Love the new streaming. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back. Bebo, you finally got a bag of rice. Congrats, man. Congrats. No TP in Cali? That sucks. So there's a this kind of apartment area here. Let's, uh, let's go further down. You're down to your last alcohol bottle? Yeah. Um, the nice thing is if you do go out here in Japan, a lot of businesses get the hand sanitizer pumps and stuff. So they have them set up like near the bagging area in the supermarket. Um, and then they have them set up by, the, by every door. And uh, a lot of businesses have them on their counter or like in the reception area or something like that. So there's a lot of hand sanitizer and alcohol pumps 
Um, it's just you can't really buy them. <laughs> Those businesses get them like delivered from somewhere special in like bulk or something. I don't know. Uh, what's this way? Just randomly walking. Do you cook? And if so, what do you like to cook? Uh, yeah, T. Hartwig. Um, I do cook. I love cooking. Uh, I cook all kinds of stuff. I cooked, uh, what did I cook? I cooked a tandoori chicken with some potatoes and some broccoli and stuff yesterday. Uh, the day, uh, what did I have for breakfast? Or no, for lunch I had a, an egg salad sandwich. Um, the day before I had a, some like Chinese stir fry. And then the, the other day before that I had some uh, kimchi jjigae, and kimchi stew. And so, yeah, I cook a lot of variety of things. I love cooking. I had a, I finally had a burrito for the first time in a very long time. Still can't find sour cream, but uh, yeah, so I love cooking. You made your own hand sanitizer out of pure grain alcohol. I, I wish I could find that. A local distillery has switched to making hand sanitizer. That's great that these people have the resources for like pure alcohol or to make alcohol, and then they're just like, yeah, we're gonna help the people out by making hand sanitizer. That's super cool. I'm jealous. I have a bottle of whiskey at home, but uh, you know, it's only like 40%. <laughs> I think it needs to be more than 60% alcohol to be effective, right? Anyways, I'm not gonna use whiskey as a hand sanitizer. I don't wanna smell like a drunk man. <laughs> All these stairs. Check out the foodie section in Corey's Discord server. Uh, Discord server. Oh yeah, I have a Discord um, where I chat it up with all of you guys off stream. We share food pictures, pet pictures, uh, funny memes and jokes and whatever. And yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel like we've walked down here one time a long time ago. Yeah, thanks, B-Boy. Uh, Boy B, hi, he is uh, one of my mods on Discord and Twitch and uh, here on YouTube. So don't break the law or he will boot you. <laughs> Karen says, uh, go to an auto parts store to buy shop towels if you if you can't find paper towels. Oh, that's kind of cool. Good, Good tip. I got one potato and I'm faced with the Irishman's dilemma. Should I eat it now or let it ferment so I can drink it later? Ooh, Jason, yeah, that's a that's a tough decision. Yeah, so we've seen some like older style homes and then we've got like these modern style homes back here, guys. Do you have a pet? No, I don't. Um, I would like one eventually, but, uh, yeah, for now, no. You know, when I was, you know, before all this happened, I was, you know, commuting an hour into Tokyo every day for work. And, uh, you know, I was there for like nine, ten hours. Like, if I have a dog or a cat, I just feel like really terrible leaving it at home all day. You know, sometimes I would come home at like 11.30 p.m. and then just eat and pass out. Like, yeah, so... I'm not in any kind of situation to have a pet. Maybe some fish, but uh, for now I have plants. <laughs> I have plants on my veranda, my balcony. Uh, Thomas, uh, Blackie, you're out of here. Okay, take it easy, have a good night, okay? gardening Cory with a corgi one day. I love, I love all dogs. Oh god, the wind. Here it comes, guys. Yeah, cut them in half and regrow them. You can reproduce your, your potato from one to, to many over time. Oof. The wind. Let's try to get out of this wind, guys. Uh, whoa, it's getting stronger. Oh my god, I'm 
I'm sorry, everybody. I'm very, very sorry. It's out of my control. Let's go this way. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, Jetta, how are you? Welcome back to the stream. Um, I don't know. We're just getting out and we're ran randomly exploring. I have no idea where I'm at right now. <laughs> we started off at my apartment building and we've just kind of started zigzagging through all these side streets. So I'm not too sure exactly where we're at. But I have a feeling the main road is in that direction because that big apartment building, I think I've seen that before. Yeah, so I'm going to try to maybe go this way. A lot of produce from the store can be planted and grown new plants from their seeds. Yeah, it's really great. I love regrowing stuff. That's how I I regrew my, uh, my habaneros and red onions. I've got red onions going. Um rosemary, some uh, leeks. What else? Yeah, I gotta I got get more plants going. There's a demolition project happening right here. Bulldozing some old house. Uh, how much have I missed? Uh, we've been streaming for 47 minutes and we didn't start walking until like 10 minutes in so yeah you missed a lot of wind <laughs> um, yeah we're just talking about the situation and stuff here in Japan and um, yeah Joy from Arizona loving your photography lately oh on uh, on Instagram yeah my Instagram stories if you guys have Instagram and you want to see some photos of just like my daily stuff that I see. Um, check out CoreyMay81 on Instagram. Jay Sato, how are you doing? View Suites, happy one year anniversary, thank you so much. I can't believe it guys, one year back in Japan. It's weird because like, I mean, most of you guys know this, I was gone for so long. I was gone for like 20 years. And then I come back and it feels like I never left. Like the streets look the same, the buildings look the same. Now everybody just has smartphones. <laughs> like before nobody had smartphones. They had like flip phones or, they weren't even flip phones. Oh my god, chat's going so fast I can't see anything. Yeah, uh, it's pretty windy and chilly today. Oh, I hear ya. Yo, what's up Richard? How you doing, man? Sorry I missed the beginning, but what's the latest from there? People taking it more seriously. Looks pretty quiet there. Uh, Richard, this is just a normal, normal neighborhood street. You know how it goes. But uh, when we were near the train station, there were still people walking around and stuff, shopping, and like the hair salon was open and it had customers. Uh, Kong man, how are you? Do you eat habanero? I can't eat that. If I eat, I get into Shimon Harbor for five days. Yeah, mom, I don't eat it like straight up. Um, I actually make stuff out of it or I add it to like a marinade. Yeah, next time I have a harvest of habaneros, I want to make like a habanero kind of uh, like a chutney kind of like a mango chutney but with habanero in it you were napping Kong nice yo Jeff Lou in the house Jeff the chef how are you sir I wonder how many people in Japan still use rotary phones I don't know that's a good question very good question uh, here's a Lawson's convenience store right here should we go into Lawson's real quick guys Check out the convenience store, try to get something. 
Yeah, this is a Lotte Group Mary's. I think it's Mary's chocolate. I don't know. You're gonna be unlocked on until after July 1st. Yeah, we need uh, we need everybody to be locked down as much as possible. Wow, there's like a delay on the chat. All right, yes. When it comes to self-isolation, you guys are all amateurs. <laughs> Get some beer. Doomed OP, what's up? Okay, so we'll go check out the Lawson's. Um, as with every stream where I go into a convenience store, there's always a high chance that the, the stream might buffer. So if it does, press F in chat, so that way I know. Um, but I have to hold the camera down by my... Whoa. I have to hold the camera down by my chest. Uh, what is this poster? Bacon potato. Is this like a weird wrap? What is this? Yeah, let's, uh, let's get... Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. I went for the wide angle, because we're going to be inside of a store. So, anyways, guys, um... Oh, there's so many questions. I'm so sorry. Finally, something Sakura related in Lawson's. Oh, uh, I think it's coming to the end of that. There's like no more Sakura stuff. Have you ever tried putting your phone in a Ziploc bag to prevent wind noise? Uh, no, but also I, w I wouldn't do that because you wouldn't be able to hear me talk. And also you couldn't see. Abud, how are you doing? Tell the jogger to go home. <laughs> I should. Beer in Slim Jims, uh, they don't really sell, they, they sell like a, a kind of Slim Jim here, but it sucks. It tastes like dry paper. All right, let's go inside uh, Lawson's. So I won't be able to see all your comments while I'm in here, guys, sorry. What's up, Danny? Yep, it's a stream. Stream. Yes, yeah, still no masks, but they have TP. So, what, what should we get, guys? Strong zeros? No, no, no strong zeros. I don't, I don't drink strong zeros anymore. <laughs> They're just too. I feel like garbage after drinking them. So we should get a beer, and then maybe a one non-alcoholic drink. So here's the beer. Something fresh? All right, Rebecca, we'll, we'll try to see what they're what they're uh, serving up at the register. Green tea. Four loco. They don't sell four loco here. Colt forty five. They don't have forties. Um, let's do. This is Asahi Dry Black. Do black? Whiskey? No, I have whiskey at home. Uh, there's a pale ale. This is a Japanese brewery. Yono Yona Ale. This is a pale ale. Maybe we'll do that. We haven't done a pale ale on stream. <clears throat> Chocolate bar sandwich. Chocolate bar sandwich. Do they have that here? <clears throat> okay, so let's see. Here's the teas. And there's coffee. Uh, here's the non teas. Mm, let's do a small thing of tea. Is a jasmine tea or green tea? I kind of want just like a normal green tea. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do uh, one small beer and some tea 
and I'll try to see what they have that's fresh that we can eat. Is there some sandwiches or something? Uh, weak choice. There is some onigiri here. What's the drinking age? It's uh, 20. You have to be 20 to drink alcohol here. Um, there's just a few onigiri. They have a salmon roe. There's a different kind of roe. Uh, there's three different types of roe here. Like pollock and salmon. Um, Let me see what they're selling at the register. Let's try one of these things. Bacon potato, spicy cod roe and cheese? Or Mexican chorizo? Which one should I try? Spicy cod roe and cheese? I'm gonna try. Uh, what should what should I try, guys? Should I try the row one with cheese, bacon and potato, or Mexican chorizo? The Mexican chorizo. Okay, I'll try the Mexican chorizo and the abico cheese. All right. Okay. Sorry, guys. There was probably so much chat that I missed of what you guys were saying. Um, why is it all blurry? Focus. All right. There we go. That's a she. Yeah, it was a, an older lady. I don't know, like exactly how old, but she was a little bit older. Um, I need to find a spot to like eat this for you guys. So proud of them for wearing masks. Yeah, the convenience store workers, they usually wear masks all the time anyways, because they just deal with customers all the time. Uh, TARDIS, how you doing? For anybody that just came in, I'm so sorry that I'm missing you. Uh, Gabriel Thomas, how are you? you I don't think she was Yakuza. <laughs> yeah. Danny, how are you doing today? No boobies. Oh, come on. It's okay. Small titties are still titties. Um, so yeah, it's it's very windy. I'm trying to figure out where I can just like sample this stuff. I, I kind of almost want to just do it like right here. Because uh, I don't know where else I could do it. Like over there or something? Like, I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, okay. So, uh, let me put this here. That car, it's not parked like in Minnesota. <laughs> 
this is a little uh it's pretty low so that's the thing i have to like look down at you guys i'm looking down on you guys <laughs> oh it's windy too uh hmm. no parks nearby i don't know i can't check my map right now yo what's up asian avenue how you doing it's a nice car it's it's leaving it's a toyota oh oh god you can't see me okay anyways it's a toyota no park senses um my park senses i don't know we're kind of in this like industrial area there's like a factory and stuff i don't think there's any parks per se here but uh i could i could venture into the side street yeah maybe i'll venture into the side street to a park i'm glad you're eating your food warm today yeah yeah do japanese convenience stores not have tables outside or maybe just not nowadays no, uh, I know I don't recall that ever being a thing in Japan, but in Korea it definitely is. Uh, there are there's actually a table inside. Should I just go inside? Maybe I should just go inside, huh? There's no wind and there's a seat. Let's do that. There's a 2020 Toyota CHR crossover. Wow, you guys knew exactly the model. You guys are amazing. No, no, don't go inside. <laughs> Wait, what? Should I look for a park? Where should I go, guys? Park or inside? Park or inside Lawson's? To the park? All right, let me, uh, camera. All right, there we go. Inside park, park, go to the car park. Oh god, that truck is so loud. Alright, let's um So I came from this way, but I didn't recall seeing uh, I didn't go by a park next to Yoshino. I have no idea where that is. <laughs> where is Yoshino? <laughs> I don't know. There's a part. I don't know where the Yoshino is in like from where I'm at. <laughs> what is Richard saying damn about? Sorry, there's there must be a lot of things going on that I didn't see, so I apologize. Turn around. Wait, what? Go back this way? Okay, so am I going this way, guys? Is this the way? I see some trees up ahead. I wonder if that's a park. Look up, follow the sign. I, I, <laughs> I don't know which one you guys are talking. I don't know which direction you guys are talking about because uh, the chat is like a little delayed from what I'm actually doing. So. Look at the Yoshino sign. I'm looking, I'm looking. I don't see. Oh, you're talking about this. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Ah, the factory is called Yoshino. Okay. So, now what? I'm, I'm going this way. Across the street and behind that Yoshino building. So I gotta cross the street. Alright, there we go. Yes, thank you guys. I was I wasn't looking at uh, when you said Yoshino. I wasn't looking at the factory. I was looking like by the Lawsons. I was like, where? I don't see. Uh, the, hold on. Should I go up or down this street? I think I gotta go this way, huh?
go inside their cafeteria, walk down Sangyo Road, head towards Yoshino Building across the street, and head down that road. I don't know which road that is. Am I on Sangyo Road right now? <laughs> Velvet, I love that you always tell me like street names, like go down this street, go down that street. I have no idea which street I'm on. Turn around. Wait, go back to where I just was? Okay, going back. So this is Sangyo Road? Okay, I did not know that, because I can't read the kanji, first of all. And uh, I never come this way, so I have no idea. Okay, now go down this street. Alright, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. You guys are my Google Maps. Everybody thinks Corey is crazy. Yeah, they're just like, this, this crazy bastard. He doesn't know where he's going. I said Yoshino. I said Yoshino. Trust Velvet. Yeah, Alexa 2.0. <laughs> There should be a stream. Yeah, what's up, Victoria? Uh, there should be a stream where we just choose directions for Corey to go through. Oh my god, that would be a disaster. Because of the delay. Everyone would be like, go east. No, go west. Go southeast. I'm like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> where am I? <laughs> and the next thing I know, I'm like in a love hotel. I'm like, what? what? You guys told me to come here. Oh, there's a little park right here. Is this what you were talking about? There's a little tiny, tiny sitting area right here with a bench. It's kind of windy though. But is this it? This looks like just like a chill area, like a smoking area for the people that work in the factories around here. But there's nobody here, so I guess we could eat here. This is the park? No, wait, this is the Love Hotel, guys. <laughs> the factory, yeah, it, Fikri, how are you doing? It, uh, it definitely blocked out my, my park sense. <laughs> Small park. When I get directions, it's like, go to where my uncle used to live and then turn left when, where that party was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, D. Lee, how you doing? Yeah, no slide. Sorry, guys. It has a bench and a tree. Yep, park confirmed. All right, it's a chonky park. Chonky. All right. Okay, so we've got uh, two two food snacks to try here. We've got a, a pale ale, Japanese brewed beer. So this is called a gubo. Gubo, and then um, one of them is the mentaiko in cheese. It's like a fish roe in cheese. And then the other one is the Mexican chorizo. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta adjust something here. Okay. Why not Love Hotel Eating Fest? Uh, Samira, how are you? The air looks so fresh <laughs> by this factory. It's so fresh. It actually is really fresh. How are you doing today? All right, I apologize for the, the, the wind noise, guys. It's a very windy day, as usual, on stream. So... Uh, press uh, type 1 for the fish row and cheese press 2 for Mexican chorizo 1 for the fish row and cheese uh, 2 for the Mexican chorizo which one should I try? is it a park or place to alert unsuspecting YouTubers? it might be that TARDIS put your shades on I can't see if I do that then um, it becomes a little hard to read the text. Two, two, two. Everybody's like, get that Mexican chorizo. Oh my God, there's so many people. Okay, you guys, don't spam it. Just press it. Just do it one time. All right, but it looks like two. Um, it looks like uh, number two. The Mexican chorizo kind of was the winner there. Yeah, only do it once. I saw a lot of people just spamming. They're like, two, two. Freaking Corey, eat number two. <laughs> Alright, so this is new. I saw this uh, ad 
on the internet for this. So it's like a little, like like a chimichanga or something like that. Look at that. Let me um, let me show you guys with the other camera. Is it gonna focus? Focus. There it is. So it's just like rolled. It's warm. It's like an egg roll kind of thing, huh? Oh, it's so windy. You just ate, but you're hungry. It's like a McDonald's apple pie. Yeah, similar. You have now reached your destination. You can go to the Love Hotel and love myself. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, it'd be kind of awkward me going to a Love Hotel by myself. Um, anyways, guys, this is Mexican Chorizo Google. Is it moist? We'll find out. Itadakimasu. It's like a hot pocket. 111 people are watching. What's up, guys? Yeah, we're eating this new snack from Lawson's convenience store. Let me let me show you the inside. Come on, focus. Yeah, so it's got this like goop, 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 goop. Goopy. Oh, it's moist. Oh, God, it's so moist. It's uh, it's erupting. But it's very flaky. Look how flaky that crust is. It's just super nice. It's actually really good. It's got a little bit of a spice to it. Yeah, so... Yeah, food porn. <laughs> Literal food porn. Is that salsa? It's not salsa... It tastes like the, like a chimichanga filling, actually. Hmm. It's um, it's definitely not authentic, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's compare it with the the fish one. Yeah. So looks the same. Well, not as yellowish. But still, still crunchy, crunchy on the outside. Let's try it. Hmm. These are really good. I like both of these. These are very savory. Is it like a chorizo flavor? Yeah, it's got the. Um, a slight chorizo taste to it. It's got the spice of the chorizo sausage in there. But this one, let me show you the ins the inside of this one. Yeah, so it's actually a different color. Um, if we can see it. So it's it's got like a piece of macaroni in there, and it's white. But then the inner the the lining of the crust is actually pink from the fish roe. The mentaiko, and this is very cool. It tastes like a, like a potato cheese kind of a thing inside of this one, but both are savory and both are very moist. <laughs> oh yeah, cream pie. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. But, um, yeah, this one's a little bit saltier than the other one uh, because of the fish, the fish egg, the fish roe. Fish doesn't seem right in chimney form. It's good, though. I think it's in the breading, though. Oh, it's actually in the sauce, too. I can see a little pieces of it here and there. These are both good. I have no napkin. Oh wait, do I have a napkin? Hold on. In my bag I have a napkin. <laughs> Moist. Uh, Prime Minister Trudeau said, don't breathe moistly on anyone. Yeah, I saw that. They made a song out of him saying that. 
That's hilarious. David and Kiem, Mason, how are you? Blackbeard, how you doing? My mom says I used to eat Hot Pockets all the time. That's true. <laughs> they were so cheap and like easy to make. You just microwave it. I don't really eat like that anymore. Not for a very long time. Let's um let's try this. Yona Yona Ale. It's a pale ale. This is a uh, this is actually from Karuizawa in Nagano. You guys know Terrace House? Where they're at Karuizawa? This is actually from there. So yeah, pretty cool. Let's crack it open. Uh, where am I now? I'm I'm in Matsudo City where I live. But um, I'm in a neighborhood. I don't know the neighborhood name here. I was in Kamihongo, which is which is where I live. But we kind of ventured it just outside of Kamihongo. So I think this area is called Minori Dai. I'm not sure. All right. Ooh, smells like a nice, uh, nice IPA or yeah, yeah, smells good. Cheers, guys. Kampai. USA? Oh no, Japan. I live in Japan. <laughs> I live uh, 20 kilometers outside of Tokyo. Oh, that's nice. Yona Yona Ale. It's got a nice, uh, nice pale ale hoppiness to it, guys. Strong Silver says Corona is the best. I used to drink a lot of Corona. Yeah. Put a, you gotta put the lime in it though. Arigato? Yeah, Japan. Arigato, Japan. <laughs> uh, hoppy? Yeah, it's got it's got a nice hoppy flavor to it. It is in Minori Dai. Okay, I was right. Is it carbonated? Yeah, it's a pale ale beer. <laughs> yeah, it's beer. Pale ale. You can see it on the bottom here. It says pale ale. It's like a craft beer. Yona Yona Ale. So this is, but it's made in Karuizawa Nagano. Yeah, I don't know if you could see that. Karuizawa Nagano. So it's uh, made about four, like a four hour drive away. Four or five hour drive. It's really good. It's very chill. I like it. I love IPAs, so um, this pale ale is really nice. Lime and salt in Corona. Yeah, you gotta have the salt too. That's true. Joy, you're right. I forgot about the salt. Jedi, you're a cheap drunk. What are you drinking? Like, like Boone's? Boone's like 4% alcohol? Is Tokyo safe now? Not even close. <laughs> I didn't finish that uh, that Mexican chorizo thing. Yeah, so we gotta eat that. Hmm. Video series idea: Japanese beer and other drinks reviews. Yeah. Strong Silver Rain says, "Have ever been to Korea? Many times. I'm half Korean, and I lived in Seoul for five, almost five years." I don't know. There's a weird sweetness to it. It's spicy, but and I can taste the chorizo. But there's a weird something, some something sweet. Very subtle. I think the other one with the fish egg was much better. It was more savory. It was like a creamy kind of a thing. This one is I don't know, a little little weird. I'm such an American, I'm like, where's your chips? <laughs> I don't ever really eat chips. Which one do I prefer? I prefer the pink one. Yeah, the, um, I prefer this one. 
The one with the fish, egg, and cheese. Yeah, it was creamy and moist. The other one is spicy, spicier, but it has a weird sweet aftertaste that I don't really like. Oh my god, Boone's, no, um, one Labatt beer and glass of red wine and I'm done. Nice. Probably save a lot of money. Mary Jane says, I could tell that you like the fish one better. I love Mentaiko, the, I think it's cod roe. Is it cod? Mentaiko is cod? Yeah. Or pollock. Cod or pollock? I forget which fish. Um, yeah, but uh, I definitely love seafood. I love all seafood. You're drinking some now. That sounds good. Do you like lemonade? OG lemonade. Like homemade lemonade. Not the store-bought stuff. It's just like loaded with sugar. Imagine if we had a live stream in the 90s with all the cheap stuff back then. Oh my god, that would be insane. Time travel live stream. I gotta make one of you saying cream and moist giggity. <laughs> uh, I just have a udon noodles with chicken. Nice, Anna. That sounds good. Fish eggs and cheese just don't sound right. You'd actually be very surprised. Excuse me. Surprised. The salty and savoriness of it is like just something about it goes well. It usually, uh, it only takes one drink to get me drunk too. It's usually the eighth one. Nice TARDIS. Yeah, oi. Oi. So, did someone say this Mary's by Lotte? It's Mary's chocolate? Yeah, thank you, Sasha. Don't forget to like the stream, guys. We're trying to get more than 100 likes. What are we at now? We're at 77, but we have 113 people watching. If everybody hits that like button now, we can get over 100 likes. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Oh my god, it's so windy. What about soft row? I love all row. God, the chat just went by so fast. It says chocolate? Oh, really? Okay. I think if you were infected corona, then you better move to Korea to cure. Uh, no worries, Strong. I'm okay right now. Going for a chocolate factory tour? Oh my god, is this Willy Wonka? Caviar and cheese on biscuits? Blackbeard, that sounds amazing. I love caviar. Hide from the wind? Yeah. So it's pretty windy. Let's head back out and uh, start wandering around some side streets. What do you guys think? Uh, well, hold on, I gotta finish this beer real quick. Ah, mmm, yummy. Alright, so I pounded that sucker. Sean says, uh, what's up, Sean? What is your favorite city you have lived in, in and out of Japan? Ooh, that's a tough question. Um, I lived in Seoul, Korea, for almost five years. That's That was a great city to live in. Um, and uh, I went to high school in Sasebo, in Kyushu, back in the 90s. And uh, that's a smaller city, but I really, really enjoyed that city. The Kyushu vibes, really, really good. Used row for fishing. Nice, smart. Oh, Marco, how you doing? I didn't see you or watch it. Clam country, Japan. Dynamic country, Korea. I think it is the difference between. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. We're gonna get out of this area. We're gonna just start wandering some back streets. Try to get away from these factories. This is Yon from Morocco. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. I hope you're staying safe during the lockdown. I know your country is doing a very great job at locking down. Seoul is one of the best cities in the world for sure. 
Yeah, it was just really good, good healthcare, like universal healthcare. And uh, transportation is very clean, very, very efficient, very easy to get around the, on, on the bus system. Everything is high tech. The food is delicious. There's an amazing 2,500 plus year old history. Yeah, it's really great. Uh, if you ever return to Seoul to live there again, which area would you live in? Ooh, uh, I don't know. That's a tough question. Um, I used to live in uh, Hebangton in uh, Yongsangu. And that's a pretty good neighborhood. It's very, a lot of hills, but uh, it's very central. Very, very central. Um, I was only one bus stop away from Myeongdong and uh, Namdaemun and all that stuff. So it's like very convenient. Ooh, Hideki reminds me of uh, Chobits. I remember that. Foolhardy says, so I'm curious, does Japan have a national cheese like Holland, uh, Hollandland, France? Oh, uh, do they? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I mean, Hokkaido has a really great cheese, but I don't, I don't know about it. Like, I don't know the name. Love Seoul so much that I did not get to see the first time. Yeah, it's a big city. Really, really big. Yongsangu is so beautiful, you're so lucky. I liked it. It was really good. Oh my god, it's so windy, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm getting blown all over the place. Why does the wind like to come only when I stream? <laughs> it's like... It's like I've forsaken some wind god. And they're like, oh, Cory's outside and he's streaming. Time to get windy. How are you doing, bro? Doing good. Doing good. We're, uh, we're walking around right now. I'm going to try to get away from this main road. And we'll, yeah, let's get away from this main road, guys. Oh. known as the streamer that has like wind noise all the time. Very annoying. You need a mic muffler? Yeah, well, I'm using my cell phone. That's the thing. And so it's just like these little tiny holes on my phone. And so I can't really like put a mic muffler on it, the little wind, wind sock. So I put a, I have a case, my phone case. And uh, so I put a little bit of like tissue over the mic holes. And that, that's about all I can do. Like, if I put if I put any more tissue, then it blocks the mic hole, and then you just can't hear me. There was one stream where I put too much tissue in it, and you guys had a really hard time hearing what I was saying. It's all right, the walk's very nice. Yeah, Danny, how you doing today? Did you get some sleeps? Did you get some sleepies? Um, for everybody that's watching right now, how are you guys doing? I wish we had these same numbers on Twitch. We've been over a hundred, uh, with a, over a hundred viewers for about an hour now. Like if I had that every day on Twitch, man, I'd be like a partner. Check out this Yankee, like, Bosozoku car. It's got the body kit. Yeah, this guy's definitely like Bosozoku. Is that Datsun? It might be. It looks like a Datsun. I can't tell. They got all the emblems shaved. Okay. Anyways, as soon as we stepped away from that street, you hear how quiet it is now? There's no wind. No people. Well, okay, there's a f maybe one or two people. That car will not survive in the snow. It will not. Danby, how you doing? How's it going? What was for dinner? Dinner? Uh, you mean yesterday? I posted it in Discord and you commented on it. 
with the, the tandoori chicken and the potatoes and stuff. How are you? Debadged car. Eh, Nihon? Yes, X. Hi, Nihon desu. Nihon ni iru. Uh, I'm trying to see. Oh, there's one of these old vans from like the 90s. My family used to have a van just like this. It was like a silver blue color. Toyota Hi Ace or something. I forget what these, these kind of vans are called. Oh, this is a dead end. Hello. Uh, this is called a Royal Lounge, a, toy, a town ace, town ace. It's not a high ace, it's a town ace. Yeah, I was thinking about this, um, you know, for my YouTube streams and stuff. I've been doing these IRL streams um, for quite some time, you know, maybe five years or something like that, four, five years. Uh, not the entire time, but, you know, started a while ago. And I was wondering, like, if I did it on Twitch more, I could probably be partner if I had the same number of viewers. Like right now, we've got 110 people watching. If I had that every time I streamed on Twitch, I could be a partner and I could like really make some good money, like money from the streams. So, hmm. It's like, I, I, I'm really, really happy doing it here on YouTube. We have a great following. The community is great. But it's like the, what do you call it? Like the, the money generated is like not really sustainable. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of ways to make some income because uh, my my current job, there it's just all the students are not booking because of the whole coronavirus situation. So I'm not working many hours. I'm not a member on Twitch, but I need to sign up to view. Yeah, you do. You need to sign up. It's free and it's free to follow me. But uh, the, the payment stuff that helps people, helps streamers, is when you subscribe or like donate money and that kind of stuff. Yeah, thank you, Christine. We're, we're trying to hit 100, over 100 likes on this uh, live stream before the stream's over. So, uh, where am I going? It's just beautiful. I love this like red and green like hedge. Uh, hedging stuff. It's not even a hedge. What is this? It's like a fencing. It's like real thin. My Twitch account is 10 days old. It's from the JTV days. Oh, nice. What's the Twitch name? My my Twitch is um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the Quarry TV. Oh, the, thanks, B Boy. B Boy got the the thing there. What is this? Hold on one second. Oh, Jetta did a $5 Super Chat donation. It says, uh, for a little snack later, I hope. Thank you, guys. Let's get some hearts in chat for Jetta. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. And uh, I do apologize if I miss your guys' questions and comments. Uh, there's just a lot of people talking right now, asking questions. So I sometimes I miss stuff. Yeah, look at this person's tree and their little gate in their front yard. It's kind of cool, huh? Yeah, thank you so much, Jetta. We will use that for a snack later for sure. All right, let's keep going. Oh, there's a guy coming towards me going across the street. So everybody got some snacks and drinks and stuff. Whoa, check out this house. It's got a very cool Japanese style. Is this a restaurant or something? It almost looks like a restaurant. It's hard to tell. Three more to 100. Oh, we're almost there, huh? Put your Twitch info in the description, cryptically, if YouTube has a problem with it. Uh, Lost in the Curve, um, my moderator, Boy Be High, just posted it in the 
in the um, the chat. Cherry from New Zealand, how you doing? Good afternoon. Uh, where are we going? Let's see. Let's go this way. Missed opportunity for Kong to say the quarry has been fed. <laughs> Is Kong still there? Is he lurking? You like the gray house in the corner? Yeah, it's pretty. Very pretty. Got this person with their nice big tree. Everybody tends to do like one branch that gets like kind of trained to grow very long out like that over the gate. Uh, Velvet asks, have you got used to the transportation links throughout Tokyo and have you ever taken the wrong train by accident? Um, no, I'm, yeah, I'm used to that like right off the bat. Uh, it was not a problem for me to learn the Tokyo subway system. It's very easy. Um, but I also have the experience of riding the trains every day in Seoul. So uh, when I came here, it's like kind of exactly the same thing. Kind of, sort of. Never really got lost. Yeah, sorry about this wind. Uh, oh, did we break uh, 100 likes? Yeah, we're going to do 101. Is it 101? It's a hun on my screen it says 100. <laughs> we got to get 101 likes. Expat teacher, you are 100? Nice! That's awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Mission success. It's 103? Okay, mine, mine is not updating quite yet. Thank you guys. I really appreciate that. Uh, wow, I can hear the wind above me, howling like crazy. Um, let's go this way. Uh, Mr. Big Cat, hola Cory, I just got out. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's aim for 200 likes? I don't know. We need more viewers, I think. Thanks, Fikri. I know Corey will. Oh, yeah. Thank you for everybody that's actually going to my Twitch and following and stuff. Um, I do a lot of game streams there, and I, I do cuss a lot, and I'm lewd. I say, I say all kinds of messed up stuff, but, uh, um, you know, I would like to do some IRL walking videos on Twitch if I can get the viewers there. Yeah, and then if I uh, if I do it on Twitch, then I could just upload the recorded VOD on uh, on YouTube. Okay. Let's see, where are we? It looks like we've reached kind of like a busier road. There must be a train station nearby. There's some people and stuff. You were promised moist gameplay. <laughs> Uh, Marco says, I wonder how Vietnam is handling the pandemic. I'm actually in touch with some people in Vietnam. Everything is locked down. The police have locked everything down. And they're uh, pretty much just like, if, if they see you outside of the, like on the street, and you don't have a, a reason to be out, uh, they fine you, and then they escort you home. So they're, they're on like actual lockdown. Uh, Karen, take it easy. Take it easy. What city is this? Oh, we're still in... Uh like my my local city Matsudoshi uh, we're, uh, we're in a little neighborhood called Minoridai why is this light not turning green I wouldn't give up YouTube for these uh, for us old timers yeah no worries like I'll still do the YouTube it's just um, there's much more money potential from Twitch that's all I was saying was uh if I had the same number of viewers now that I had uh, from YouTube and brought them over to Twitch, like I could make some really good money as a Twitch partner. You missed the, the moist food, yeah. Karen, have a good night, okay? Oscar says, uh, how's it all going up in Japan considering the global events? We're on full lockdown here, no school, work, etc. Uh, yeah, Oscar, Japan, as you can see, people are still walking around. Businesses are still open. 
Japan, by law, cannot... Oh, God, the wind. Japan, by law, can't lock down. Um, meaning they can't force citizens to stay at home. Or if they're caught outside of their home, by law, they can't punish them or force them back home. Uh, it's a weird law. They don't want to, like, disrespect people and their privacy and stuff like that. And it's re causing a big problem because now the government during this uh, state of emergency, they can't force people to stay home. And as you can see, like, I'm walking around. There's, like, just people walking around and stuff. Um, yeah, so people are definitely trying to, you know, practice social distancing now. And there are some businesses that are closed, but still quite a lot of things are open. There's still restaurants that allow indoor seating. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little, a little crazy. Japan's, like, really late to react to any of this. They're very reactive, not proactive. So it's very sad, and I'm very scared that uh, it's just gonna become like Italy or Spain or somewhere else. Uh, Jessica Sandaras has gotta go, guys. Thank you so much for the lovely date night. Yeah, good night, take it easy. We'll see you next time, okay? I think that law began as part of the treaty with the US after World War II. Yeah, the base, the base of that law was from that time, and then they kind of modified it over the years. And then uh, I think the clause in the law that says, like, they can't force citizens to, like, stay at home was, like, just added very recently. Like, at the beginning of March or something like that. It was, like, really crazy. I don't know. The USA is also reactive. Yeah. I mean, they're, like, J Japan and the US had a bunch of, you know, like, quote-unquote whistleblowers, you know, who are trying to warn everybody, like, hey, like, this is, a, this is not good. We need to do something. Like, we need to, like, be serious about this. And uh, nobody was, like, taking it seriously. So it's very sad to see uh, both Japan and America kind of in the same boat. Although America just kind of skyrocketed because lack of a uh, action yeah I I wish I could stream to twitch and YouTube at the same time but uh, I'm a twitch affiliate and that means uh, I can start earning some money through twitch but part of the stipulation as a twitch affiliate is you can't stream to YouTube at the same time or any platform really um, so if I do a twitch stream I have to wait 24 hours and then I can post the recorded version on a different platform like YouTube or something so they actually check that when you become partner when you become partner you actually you get a, a lot more benefits and you actually make ad revenue from the, the stuff and you, yeah you, it just be, if you become a partner with twitch you actually start making good money but you need like a consistent, uh, you need an average of 75 viewers. You need to stream for at least 12 times a month. And uh, I forget what else. So I always achieve the, the basics, but then like reaching 75 average viewers, I could never do. Uh, my, my average is at 10. Even though sometimes I get like 20 viewers, but like the average overall for the whole month is 10. But uh, if, you know, with YouTube, I get like, usually like 90 to 100 viewers every time so if I had that average on Twitch I could be a partner by now and be making some good money is Twitch like Facebook no no Twitch Twitch is a live streaming platform uh, mainly for get like gaming video games but there's a bunch of categories that are not gaming related like uh, like what we're doing now walking around and stuff there's an it's called IRL uh, in real life so there's a, di a whole bunch of like IRL just chatting streams people just talk uh, people do cooking shows people a lot of people do art what is going on here in their little little garden If you decide on the switch, I'll 100% support. No, I'm still going to do this. I'm still going to do the YouTube. My goal for the YouTube is to get over 100,000 subscribers. But um, for the streaming part of it, I'm considering...
just doing Twitch all the time because the potential for live stream because Twitch is a, a full on like live streaming platform. That's what it is. YouTube is like a, a mix. It's like all videos that people make plus live streaming. But Twitch is like 100% live streaming. Uh, one Angry Sandwich says, I watched a Russian twerking show. I remember that. And you were telling us like, about this twerk contest. <clears throat> is Twitch where people twerk? It twiz. Most people who are content producers on YouTube have to do Patreon because YouTube revenue isn't great. Yeah, exactly. I used to have a Patreon, but um, I closed it down because I wasn't making enough content that I, I felt like I didn't deserve anyone's donations or money. So I closed it down. But I'm thinking of uh, reopening it. But I need to think more about like what to do. Like how to make it worth people donating money every month, you know? Like a dollar a month or five dollars a month or whatever. And you need to make it worth people's while. Sounds like you need a producer and an agent to handle things. You know, some people do. Some people do that. They definitely uh, they hire an agent, especially when they get a little bit bigger and you have a bunch of companies trying to reach out and like have you uh, promote their product on your stuff and like the legal stuff. And yeah, so a lot of people do actually have agents. Um, I think every like really large YouTuber that I know of, that I've met and I'm friends with, um, I think most of them have like their own little agent. M. Palma, how you doing? Uh, can you hear the wind? Uh, where are we? Uh, let's go this way. Yeah, so how many of you guys are locked down right now and you're watching this, imagining that you're actually walking in Japan right now? How many of you guys? Type, uh, uh, type 69. <laughs> I don't know why I just went with that. Type 69 in chat. If you feel like you're actually walking with me while on lockdown. What is the age range analytics on on YouTube versus Twitch? Walking vids? Uh, yeah, Twitch is more of a younger audience. Because it's mainly a gaming platform. Mainly. But uh, yeah, YouTube is like just everybody. 7DP? <laughs> what? Wow, where are we? We've reached this kind of open area. Uh, oh, there's this... Hold on. Is this trespassing? Hold on. There's like this abandoned house. I'm trying to see how much I can see. This, this old thing right here is abandoned. Um, this is like someone's driveway. I think I'm trespassing. I want to just pretend I'm stupid. You're like, eh, where am I? Oh, no, it's not. It actually connects down. Okay, I can actually walk through here. There's a road that goes. It connects to the next road. So let's look at this place. Whoa. Jeff says, it's worse because I've been walking with you before. That's true. Um, if you can see this. I'm trying to capture it all. Oh, someone's using it as a garage. Uh, Kony says, where in Japan are you? I'm in uh, Matsudo City in a neighborhood called Minoridai. It's about 20 kilometers uh, east of Tokyo. It's not abandoned, right? Yeah, I'm just like very interested. Like this yellow house. <laughs> Sanjo Shi, have a C, have a good night. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Think about a science-based video that teaches people. I wonder James, uh, who could do that. Uh, let's blow my stabilizer around. Alright, let's get out.
out of here because that's like too windy. I wonder if somebody around here still owns that home or someone's just using the carport until the home is torn down. Yeah, I don't know. It might be, they might own it. It seems like it was like that one plot of land. Um, oh, what's over here? We got some uh, farm plot land. Farmland? Farm plot? <clears throat> that house not looks so Japan. Yeah, it's definitely a Yakuza hideout. It could be. You're 7,000 miles away and you felt it blow your hair? <laughs> nice. Yeah, wind science stream. Wind science. Do, 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 do. Wind science. Rip, Corey. I know. So it's a very sunny day, guys. Very nice. I want to see. I want to. Uh, I don't. I can't go over there because there's these beautiful, like, pink flowers in the trees. There's some. There's a sakura tree right there. Uh, it's got just like a few flowers left on it. Yeah, or the the sakura season's pretty much over, guys. If you guys play Animal Crossing. Um, as of, I think, today, here in Japan, um, it's, uh, Sakura is gone from in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Do you gago toku? Oh, yeah. There's these pretty flowers. Right here, guys. Look at the flowers. Look at the flowers. Is that lavender? I don't know what that is. It looks like lavender, but I, I think it's not. Matsudo. Yeah, it's in Matsudo. How to get blueprints of old houses in Japan? Uh, Japan? I don't know, James. That's a good question. You played New Leaf? Yeah, Animal Crossing New Horizons is definitely addicting. Here, you can see some of these flowers right here. <laughs> you like the reference? Yeah, I'm gonna execute somebody, for sure. Just like Carol. Corey has experienced area ever been snow? Uh, I love that sentence, by the way. Um, but yeah, I've experienced snow a lot, a lot, lot. Yes, me. I would take on Alpha. Wait, what? Oh, Jazzy, you're out of here. All right, take it easy, Jazzy. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We'll see you next time. Man, these uh, purple flowers are everywhere. They're really pretty. You guys know the name of this flower? Kanekin? Your mother would love those flowers? I think mine too. But they're everywhere. Like it's over here too, there's a lot. Cool. So this is what happens when you just kind of randomly explore these back side streets of Japan. You start seeing like random fields and beautiful flowers, people's yards. Nice depth of field. Yeah, when I get closer to things, we get the nice depth of field. Very good. This is a Leica lens on this phone. It's very sharp, very, very nice. I wish I could stream in 1080, but that's too much, too much data. Too much data. Until you see a little bee's butt poke out of that flower. I love bees. I try to save bees when I find them on the ground or whatever. Use a little leaf or something. Pick them up. 
And then I drop kick them. Like I, I football punt them into the bushes. <laughs> All right, we've been going for uh, an hour, 55 minutes. Okay, wow, almost two hours. Nice. Uh, it's crazy, like, there's old homes, and then we've got these, like, built up, like, uh, I don't know what to call them, little duplexes or whatever. There's a lot of different stuff. Variety. Got a bunch of bees in my yard, nice. We need the bees, save the bees. What is this road? There's like this grass patch in the middle. There's like no cars. Where am I? <laughs> what the what the f? Yeah, you give them some sugar water. Yeah, I try to revive them if they look like they're just like dying out. Just like there's no I'm walking in the middle of the road. There's just like nobody. Uh, how you doing, Greg? I have a question. Is sake, sake, sakae zuke? Wait, what? The cup that sake is served in. Good on saving the bees here. The bees knees. <laughs> is that the? Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. I tried to save one. He was too far gone, so I put his wee bee body in a glass box to keep. Oh really? That's when I usually punt them into the grass or something and just like let him uh, dissolve back into the earth it becomes fertilizer for the flowers but yeah like I, I try to get distance when I drop kick him I'm like alright I'm gonna kick this guy like across the street can I do it BAM it's like a soccer kick like field goal kick it's like full force kick to the little little body little bee's body <laughs> <laughs> Corey, stop. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just kidding. You know, I, I don't really actually do that. Did you ever see the movie Night of the Comet? No, I haven't. Almost everyone wiped up. Wow. No, I've never seen that. Ever elbow, <laughs> elbow drop a bee? I did. I drop kicked a cow when I went cow tipping. Did you really? <laughs> That's messed up. That's just wrong. There was one car. Where are we? What is, okay, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, there's a car. Thank goodness there are no PETA people in the group. Yeah, they'd be triggered by my fake story of drop kicking, of punting bees. <laughs> uh, what do those diamonds mean on the street? Oh, I missed it. Uh, I think it means like uh, it, it, it's what do you call it? Like both both ways, or you, you drive on that side of the lane. I, I forget what it exactly means. I don't drive here, so I should look that up because I, I do want to drive here eventually. Uh, never shoulder ram a cow when you go cow tipping. My friend learned that the hard way. Uh, they don't really budge. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just, it means like you, you just go through on that side of the street. Just a reminder that there's two lanes. Selfie, mirror selfie, that was a delay. Um, it's just like a rundown place. There's like mattresses, old hobo trash can fire pit. Wow, this house is kind of cool. Animal Crossing is not vegan too? That's true. They tend to have a little more weight than you? Just a little bit. Just a smidge. That's why you drop kicked the cow, it tipped over for me. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's just, I have this image of just like b-boy running at full speed and then like launching in the air like two feet full extension and just BAM
Night of the Comet is a B-horror movie from the 80s and so great. I'll have to check it out. Sounds interesting. Um, trying to see. What else is here? It's all just like residential stuff. Where, where's the good juicy stuff? Where's the juicy stuff? we got to find a juicy, moist place to go to. Um, good thing you hate cows. Why do you hate cows, Danny? <laughs> what did they ever do to you? Is that a plane? Yeah. Narita Airport is not... I mean, it's far from here, but it's... Um, like, if I was to just head east from here uh, in about an hour by train, uh, I would reach Narita Airport. And um, Narita Airport actually just opened up... I think Narita and Haneda Airport just opened up a new flight paths that actually go over Tokyo area. Before, they weren't allowed to like fly over Tokyo and uh, a lot of the residential areas like here in Chiba and stuff, Saitama, um, you, they had to go around or something like that. And uh, But they just opened it. So there's actually planes that fly like directly over my apartment. And then uh, as you just heard now, uh, there's a plane flying overhead. Milk's nasty, that's why. But you like them hamburgers, huh? You like that hot beef tube steak? Don't deny it. I can smell the lies coming out of your pores, and it turns me on. Um, okay, I'm getting carried away. What is that? Oh, it's a train. All right, let's go this way. Find out what's over this way. You guys doing good? Everybody? Everybody. Oh, th this person has like a little backyard, but it's got fake grass. It's like AstroTurf. That kind of sucks. Just grow real grass. I wonder if that's the, sh that, is that the Shinkeisei line? I don't think so. I could be wrong. Uh, we've got some canals, canal action over here. Milk is Satan juice? What? <laughs> what? Are there any fish in this canal? Oh, it's very shallow. Very, very shallow, but it's clear. I can see it's still very clear. It's the trash. It's very windy. Uh, Velvet, you gotta head out. Alright, take it easy. Have a good night. Thanks for the directions and help and stuff earlier. We'll see you later. AstroTurf's great. You have no idea how much of a pain it is to pick weeds. I do. I used to do landscaping <laughs> for a company. Um, Plus, no more neighbors letting their dogs loose to poop in my yard. Okay, that's good. At least that part's good. Milk lovers, don't worry, Danny. I'm lactose intolerant, so I feel ya. Um, hmm. It's so quiet back here. <laughs> Insert pouring milk over face gif. <laughs> Uh, come to India, Danny, you'll have life's most memorable experience. Yeah, the cow. Yeah, exactly. The holy cow. You're all about that coconut milk. Mmm. Yum, yum. Give me some. Man, this house is huge. But I would hate to live right by the train track. All right, so there is a mirror right here. What's up, guys? Uh, can we can we mirror selfie? Oh, there's a car coming. Yeah, so there is a mirror right here. 
Insert Tom Green drinking milk from a cow's nipple. I remember that. I remember when he did that. <laughs> Have we seen any cool trains today? Yeah, we did. Uh, at the beginning, we saw one near my house. Man, it's so beautiful. It's nice. There's a lady on a wall up ahead. I hope she doesn't fall. She's trimming her tree. Little trim trim. And that wind. Sorry guys. Uh, there's this nice old Japanese home right here on my right. See the nice old traditional Japanese rooftop. Here's this lady right here. I hope she doesn't fall. Oh, it's a guy. <laughs> Oops. No, wait, it's a lady. Konnichiwa. Oh, we've come across some bamboo right here. A little bamboo grove. What's up, Gaijin Otaku? Welcome back to the stream. Look at the flowers, guys. Uh, Dombi says, okay, friends, I need you to do some chores. Have a wonderful night, day, and enjoy your time together. All right, Dombi, take it easy. We'll see you next time. Take care. Catch you in Discord. Oh, God, the wind. The wind is coming. Oh, my God, the chat just went so fast I couldn't see anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Richard. I couldn't tell. It was like a guy. It's a, it's a woman. No, it's a guy. No, wait, what? <laughs> Hot Pocket? What are you guys talking about? Got some bamboo ASMR action. Let's continue. I really have no idea where I'm at. I've never been down here ever before. Uh, can I go this way? Can I go this way? I wonder, does this go to someone's house? I think it goes to someone's house. I'm gonna check. Just to be sure. What did you eat today, Corey? Uh, I had this thing called gubo. It's essentially like a like a chimichanga. There are these new chimichanga things from uh, Lawson's Convenience Store. And uh, one was a Mexican chorizo flavor, and the other one was a, a mentaiko. It's like a pollock or cod roe with cheese. Yeah, I think this goes up to someone's. Yeah, this is someone's driveway. Oh, it's a new word. Yeah, and you even put the dash on there because that it has the dash in the Gubo word as well. So, way to go. Way to go, sandwich. Love that noise? I know, right? Do you rent or own? I rent. I rent. Are you putting uh, pruning your garden, Corey? I mean, we were promised a tour. I do prune my garden. Um, but no tour, not yet. Stop in their house and say hi from Gregson. Yeah, look at that uh, house. I think this, this lot with the trees belongs uh, to them. Memes says, uh, happy anniversary, Corey. Yeah, what's up, Memes? Thanks for tuning in. How much is that house? I don't know. Let me uh, just knock on their door and ask them. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, that Tamela, that house is pretty nice. It's very big. I'm going to try to see if I can get a better view of it up here.
Yeah, that's pretty. Oh, they've got like the traditional like black tile and blue tile on this little like addition right here on the side of the house. Say you're from MTV Cribs? I should. They've got like a huge, they've got another little like yard barn thing over here and then there's a modern house here. So I'm gonna assume like they live here and maybe like their parents live over there or something. It looks like it's all one property. So that's pretty cool. You would hate to clean it though? Hmm, could be annoying. Unless you like cleaning. <laughs> yo! Kabuki style, yo. Where are we? What is this place? We're at a main road. Uh, there's a crosswalk. Oh, I'm gonna cross now. There's another old house right here. This is great. All right. Uh, maybe I'll go this way. Have I been this way before? I feel like I have. Hey, is Jason still in chat? I found his store. Jason. Oh God, wind. Oh. All right, I'm gonna try to go down this back street. Uh, Ibrahim, have a good one. Thanks for dropping by. Yeah, it's your own store. What's in there? It looks like a little supermarket. But I'm gonna go on this back street, like behind, behind your store. Wow, there's a big blue roof. What is that? We got bamboo on my left here as well. Nerdo Dad, how you doing? I can't really see this, but this blue house, wow. Nice and bright. Someone's house over here on the left. Is Shinkansen still running? Uh, yeah, everything's still running. I think they're trying to reduce the, tr the Tokyo trains. Oh, hold on. I think they're trying to reduce the Tokyo trains, but people are still commuting to work. So it's like crazy. Now there's less trains, that means there's more crowding. Um, check out this wall, and there's these two giant trees. Are you growing bamboo in Animal Crossing? I am. Get another beer? I might have to. Yeah, really beautiful, guys. There's a, there's a cat. I don't know if you could see this. There's a cat. Chillin'. Kitty. Oh, God. What just happened? Okay. Uh, there it is. What's up, kitty? <laughs> Enhance. Yeah, so bamboo fencing and an old, uh, there's like a shrine or something on their property. Try to get a better angle on this house. Oh, I can't, can't really see it. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to see right now. Anyways, uh, what's down this street? Let's see the little kitty cat. Meow meow. Meow meow. Meow meow. Oh, it's pregnant. It's got the fat belly. Bye. <laughs> you have a cat just like that? Black and white? Straight out of a Kurosawa movie? 
Sounds good. It's a guard cat? I wonder if it was a demon cat. Is it a demon cat? Man, look at all the multiple levels of roof stuff on here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You wonder if he lives in the blue roofed house? I wonder. Is this a dead end? Cats aren't demons, okay. Whatever, Denny, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Kidnap the cat? No, I would never, well, maybe, maybe I would. But cat, I don't think I could have a cat in my house. Like my, my two bedrooms, they're all tatami mats. I have 12 tatami mat room. Uh, two rooms combined into one big room. And uh, yeah, those cats would use those as like a scratch board. Man, they would wreck my house. Well, I guess I'm going to go play Second Life. Too much anxiety tonight. Have a good night. Uh, Alright, take it easy, Jetta. I'm surprised that people still play Second Life. I used to play that when it first came out. But uh, yeah, I hope your anxiety goes away. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you for the super chat donation. And uh, we'll see you later, okay? Catnip. Catnap, catnip. Yep. I think so. There's another house right here on the right. Got any shoji screens? No, I don't. Um, I was actually thinking of getting some, though, for my balcony windows and putting some up there. Because when I stream and it's sunny, like, there's nothing to really, like, protect how bright it is. So, like, you can see when I stream on Twitch, like, my webcam, it gets all, like, wonky. But if I had a shoji screen, it would probably diffuse the light pretty well. Hmm, where are we? Oh, there's a place that sells uh, tombstones. Oh, you know what? I think I know exactly where I'm at. I've never been here, but I know of this place called uh, Yahashira Cemetery. It's down the road. It's one of the biggest cemeteries in this area. Should we go to it? Or at least see what's near it? You could use a bed sheet to diffuse the light. That's true, I could. But I don't want to like hang bed sheets like on my windows, you know what I mean? Like I want like something proper. What the actual flip? <laughs> what? What? Hmm. Because of uh, the big cemetery up here, I think there's a lot of shops that sell like flowers and other things related to related to the um, like the cemetery, tombstones and like incense, flowers, that kind of thing. Yeah, I'm living that minimalist life. Like I have a desk and a chair, and that's it. I don't have a dining table. I don't have a couch. And yeah, I think this is a funeral home or something. <laughs> kind of seems like it. So yeah, maybe uh, let's go check out this cemetery. Another yellow building house. Yeah, they love that yellow color. Cemeteries tell stories. Yeah, too bad Danby's not here. I know she loves... The occult cemeteries, dead guys. Is this town haunted though with these old houses? I'd imagine so. Probably. Most likely. <laughs> Ghost clown? They're like Pennywise. <laughs> what the? Mm. Yeah, it's funny that you guys are using the Twitch commands. And there's a... 
No thing. Uh, here's a vending machine. It's got really expensive alcohol drinks. My god. Three dollars for a tall boy? No, thank you. They've got sake. Alright, let's keep going. <gasps> There's a little dog. So cute. There's this uh, badger. Yeah, she would definitely love this, this whole thing. When I met her that one time and we walked around Tokyo, yeah, I think one of the first things we did was go to a Japanese cemetery and she was just like, yes. It's a tanuki. I don't know if it's a tanuki or something else. AYK with a $10 super chat. Thank you so much, guys. Let's get some hearts in chat for AYK. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god, there's more. More animal ones. These are so cute. And even a little seal. Like a seal pup. There's, a, there's like a main entrance, but I don't know if there's like a security guy there. I don't know if he's going to be like, don't film here. So I'm going to try to see if there's like a side entrance real quick. Wow. Look at this old place. What is this? AYK says, hey, Corey, thanks for taking us around your neighborhood. Hope to return to Japan soon. Have a highball or two on me. Cheers from Torrance, California. Thank you. Thank you, AYK. Yeah, we're um, we're walking around. I know you're on lockdown. I know a lot of you guys are on lockdown, so that's why I'm doing these streams. This is for you guys. I want you guys to feel like you're walking around in a different country. You know, kind of a change of scenery. I have some sake from Japan. Ooh, that sounds good. Very quiet back streets. Um... Let's go this way. I think the cemetery is like dead ahead. It's a uh, nigori sake. Ooh, that sounds good. Gaijin Otaku says, well, glad I could catch a bit of the stream, but it's getting late and I have one more day to work. All right, man. Thanks for dropping by. I really appreciate it. Please have a good sleep and uh, have a good day at work, okay? Where is, what is this place? Danny's drinking grape-flavored water. No liquor today? You mean wine? Like you usually drink? <laughs> is this like a vineyard? What is going on here? Ah, the wind. You drinking that purple stuff? That purple drink? AKA wine? No social distancing. Backstreet Corey's back. All right. <laughs> Dead ahead. I see what you did there. Oh, I didn't even catch that one, Laura. Sometimes my subconscious lets out these funny puns. Oh my God, the wind. All right. Let's, let's try to check out this cemetery. Funnily enough, I'm drinking Crystal Light grape drink. Crystal Light? Isn't that like, like cancer juice? Yeah, no mask too. Well, I'm not wearing a mask either because of like out here, as you can see, there's just like no people, really. So that guy got a little too close for comfort. Um, Trying to see, is there an entrance? It looks like there's an entrance into the cemetery. Oh, that's a road. Okay. Uh, I think I gotta go back this way to the main entrance. 
Maybe I have no option. Deanna says, uh, Canadian News commented that USA has 17 million lost jobs. Yeah, I heard 6.6 uh, 6 million just filed for unemployment yesterday. And it was like another 6 million yesterday or more than that. And then, so it's all just piling up. It's very sad. Worst than uh, the Great Depression of 1929, really? That's insane. Non-fermented grapes in water sounds like hangover juice. <laughs> You're reaching. All right. Um, all right, this is it, guys. The cemetery. Let's try to be respectful. Just gonna go straight. Nice park. Oh, there's a map. Let's look at the map real quick. Is this the cemetery? Oh, oh yeah, it is. Okay, so this park area is just the entrance. So you see this big thing? This is not it. This part is just right here. Right here. So this little section right here is actually this green map. So you can see it's like really big. Uh, Tamela with the $10 happy anniversary super chat. Thank you so much, Tamela. Let's get some hearts and chats for Tamela. TK Priest. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I've seen this from Google uh, Google Maps before, and I meant to come here before and check it out. I never had a chance, and now today we just kind of randomly stumbled on it. So might as well check it out, right? quiet like nobody you're welcome I'm blessed to still be working from home yeah yeah very good is that a multi-dimensional uh, denominational cemetery uh, I don't know I, I don't know the answer to that there could be like Shinto and Buddhist people here or just anybody I, I really don't know you saw a cross we might see some Christian stuff I don't know are there any lights at all? It's the daytime, Danny. There's the sun. <laughs> There's the sun. It's shining so bright. Deathly quiet. There's wind and crows. Uh, let's go up this way. There's a, a little bit of sakura left. It's like the very last remnants of the season. Still kind of hanging out. But I think most of the stuff just kind of blew away already. Like this, this would be completely covered, but there's just like small little patches of sakura left. Most of the petals are on the ground. Oh, for people who visit at night, I wonder if there's, if this is open at night. It looked like there was a gate. They might close it. Great ultimate frisbee spot? Might be. You wouldn't want to walk through a cemetery? How you doing, Teresa? Uh, you wouldn't want to walk through a cemetery at night? The cemetery is the safest place to be, guys. Because no one's here to, like, attack you or hurt you. So quiet.
let's just kind of zigzag through these areas, huh? I think that's our goal. Man, this road, it goes, it goes pretty far. This is all cemetery. Except ghosts? Yeah, but the ghosts aren't going to bother you. Unless you're a dick. And I know I'm not a dick. I'm a nice guy. Ah, let's take a look. It's not scary. There's some beautiful trees and stuff. Now look at this. Look at this tree. That's awesome. Watch behind you, Corey. Oh my God. Oh my God. Warm breeze. What's up, Petrang? It might be fun at night, maybe. When I was younger, I used to hang out like and explore cemeteries like this. It ain't no thing. Oh God, the wind. I didn't realize that we were going to end up in a cemetery today, guys. But that's how it goes on my streams, you know. We walk around randomly and we end up in places we didn't expect. Cemetery art, you know how? I'm not sure what you mean, cemetery art. And if I know how. Like, how to draw a cemetery? Are there old date stones? Uh, there, there might be, Joy. Um, some of these... So most of these look kind of modern, but then there's a, like one or two that I see that are like pretty old. I'm not sure what the dates are on them. Here in LA we have a famous cemetery with a lot of celebs like Walt Disney. Oh, I heard about that. Don't they do tours there or something? Tombstone charcoal art. Oh, you mean like uh, like etching? Like a rubbing? If I do like a charcoal rubbing of some of someone's tombstone? That seems a little bit inappropriate. Uh, so we were talking about uh, non-denominational stuff. I see something that looks like a little mini chapel up here. Let's go take a look at it. Yeah, being all spontaneous and shh. Is that car tracks on the floor? Yeah, it's like a, there's probably like one of those little small, like, Japanese trucks, like a service thing or, you know, landscaping truck and they drive around. <laughs> Nancy Drew, right? She's got her, her, uh, magnifying glass. Oh, no tours because they're pretty strict. Oh, that's good. More intensity, Corey? All right, guys. We've come across the first Christian mausoleum in this Japanese cemetery. It says that this person was born in 1940 and died in 2004. My God. They actually spent a lot of money doing this. Man, they even have like a little back like side entrance door, like a little service room or something. Like what's in here? Is it just one? I think it's just this one person's grave. This guy's hogging up all this land. Did you 
pay your respects before you entered? Yeah, I said a little thing in my head, you know, just like, hey, shitsureshimasu, tamashimasu. I didn't really need to say it out loud. Um, Alright, let's, uh, let's check the map here. If there's a toilet, I would like to use a toilet, because I do have to pee. So... Let's see, yeah, we came in here. We, we, we came in here, we walked up, we walked this way, and now we're here. So I want to go this way, to this toilet. Maybe they're actually still alive, but it's a front. Yeah, Yakuza front. They're in there, like, counting counterfeit money and stuff. It's a secret operation. You go down underneath, there's a big, like, meth lab. <laughs> They're making that blue, that blue ice. Don't pee in the cemetery. Oh my god, why not? It's fine. Every single person in the cemetery that was at, alive at one point used to pee and poo. I'll try to see if I can use the restroom real quick, and then we'll continue walking. Good, I visit some cemetery here and only the office is open? Oh, really? It's an underground casino? <laughs> Maybe. Pee out ghosts later? Why later? I can't hold the ghosts. They're pushing on my bladder. Did they pee and poo in a cemetery? Dun, dun, dun! Um, probably. When they came to visit someone they knew. They're probably like, I gotta pee and poo. Does it hurt when you pee? Yeah, it kind of burns a little and there's a white discharge. I think it's the ghost ectoplasm trying to come out. Not really sure. I think I need to see a doctor. Oh, in San Diego. Okay, I see. Underground Pachinko Arcade? Yeah, probably. <laughs> wow, Corey, I... <laughs> I don't know. Either I'm possessed or I have syphilis. It's one of the two. Ghostly affairs, indeed. When nature calls, it's true. When you gotta die, you gotta die. Sorry, I, I should probably stop joking and being rude. But it's okay. Japanese people love comedy, so it's all good. I'm sure the ghosts are laughing. Maybe chlamydia. I got that clap. There's a treatment for it. Ominous black car. Yeah, there was just someone in the seat just like chilling. I don't know what they were doing. Listening to the radio or something. All right, this little white thing in front of me, uh, that building. Shimura Ken is laughing? Oh, guaranteed. Garen's. He is laughing. I'm sure some of the people in here watched him for many decades just like I did so it's all good where does Corey keep all of his children? I thought he had three I don't know Shannon they're missing in action um, yeah here's another one with a it's hard to see another tombstone with a, a cross on it Christian cross clap on clap off the clapper Oh, they're in my testicles. That's true. All right, uh, here's the restroom. I'm going to maybe have to leave my, my camera outside. Since there's no one here, I think it's pretty safe. So uh, hang tight, guys. Enjoy the scenery of the, the road. I'll be right back.
Uh, okay. You guys ready? Looking around for spirits? Did you see any floating orbs? Yeah, bathroom's uh, fairly decent. There's no soap though, and there's no trash can. So, anyways, uh, let's go check out this sakura tree real quick. Pretty cool, I feel like I'm in a neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Blue? How you doing? So yeah, this one still has some sakura on there. You can see the, see the flowers. Try to get close to one. Yeah, very pretty. But these are, uh, yeah, they're already starting to fall. If I shake this branch, yeah, they're falling. Wash hands? Well, I, I rinsed my hands very well, but uh, there's no soap. Let's see some feet. What? What are you talking about, Richard? It's kind of nice. Nice little uh, Japanese like maple tree thing. Nice shady area. Spit on your hands? I just suck on my fingers. I suck them real good. Get my tongue underneath my, my fingernails. Get all the grit out as well. You gotta do it, man. You gotta do what you gotta do to maintain hygiene. The camera's so beautiful. Yeah, it's very nice. You had amazing pics of blossoms the other day. I did, Joy. Um, yeah. I need to stop posting on Instagram stories and actually making Instagram posts. I haven't made an Instagram post since like November or September or something like that. Uh, it's just the stories are just so fast. If I do a regular post, I have to like go through this whole thing and then I gotta like type out a little message and then like hashtag it and all this other stuff. It just gets a little tedious. So I kind of got tired of doing that. <laughs> but I need to get back into it because I need to grow my Instagram. You're so right. This isn't Cory, it's a ghost. Yep, yeah, I've a... Uh, I've captured Corey's voice and his lewdness. And I just stole the camera. We're, we're going somewhere. You guys don't even know what I look like right now. Corey's still in the bathroom. He's probably confused. Someone stole my camera. Let's, uh, I'm gonna cut through the middle to get more of that cemetery vibe. You've done a lockdown, no Cameron. There's uh, no such thing as a lockdown in Japan by law. They can't force people to stay at home um, or punish them or fine them or whatever or force them to go back home. There's no lockdown in Japan. Some businesses are closed, but a lot are still open. Restaurants are still open. People are still commuting to work because their companies are demanding the employees to come to work. But uh, not everybody, not everybody. Uh, there, there are some companies that are like, yeah, work from home. But uh, yeah, it's not, there's no lockdown. What's the safety word, Corey? That's it, it's my name. Imagine that, how on earth would you handle your phone getting lost? Do you know where you are? Yeah, I know where I'm at. If, if my phone was stolen, uh, I know exactly where this cemetery is in relation to where I live. I live in that direction, like over there like in that general direction because uh, this cemetery is laid out like northeast and southwest and uh, yeah I've seen it from Google Maps and like a satellite view and all that stuff so I know exactly where it is I know it by heart I do I know every grave every leaf every stone Gabriel Thomas is not drunk that means he is trashed in Thailand, no booze for 10 days. Wow, really? Is that a law? No booze for 10 days? What is the reason for that law? I don't know. I think the, the basis of it came after World War II. And, uh, yeah, I don't know exactly. But, um, you know. 
know, during this time, it's like that, that law is very, an unfortunate thing to be in place. And it's just keeping the government from like locking things down. But they also don't want to lock things down because of, of the economy. Like we're like borderline recession anyways. And if things, if things are fully locked down, then uh, most likely Japan will go into a recession. And so I think the central government is actually really worried about that. Which is why they're still allowing businesses to stay open. And it's just, it's, it's just all crazy. They need to lock down. F that noise, no booze. I know, right? So this is a very peaceful day, guys. Very good stream. How long have we been going? Two hours, 47 minutes. What's my battery life at? 27%. Okay, and I have my external as well. So we'll just, uh, we'll just keep walking for a little bit longer, try to get out of this cemetery, and uh, maybe drink something and then talk to you guys, and then I'll, I'll wrap it up. Because I know it's getting late for you guys, right? Japan owes the most debt in the world. Do they really? Recession is inevitable. May as well be safe and deal with the recession when the virus is gone. Yeah, a lot of people are saying, like, you know, what's what's more important? Saving the economy from a recession and then that a lot of people die? And then, you know, we're just, like, swarming the hospital systems with sick people? Or actually doing something about it and mitigating financial loss with the economy by being proactive? Like... Either way, people are going to get sick. People are going to die. It's just, we can, we can do something about it. Did you drink the green tea? Uh, no, I did not. It's actually in my, my bag. Uh, good. Speaking of that, I, I do need a sip. Uh, Moon Songtan. Yeah, people die in recessions too. Exactly. The longer they wait, it'll hurt tourism when the rest of the world is doing something about it. Yeah, like they're expecting the Tokyo Olympics to happen next summer, but if they're not doing anything about it now, who knows? Like we might not have an Olympics next year. Uh, sorry, I'm going to drink my, my tea real quick. No beer. I had a beer earlier. One, uh, it was a pale ale. Yona Yona Pale Ale from Karuizawa. Nagano. Um, I'm trying to open this tea bottle uh, with one hand. It's not working. One second. Okay. There we go. Breakfast beer? Yeah, it was kind of a breakfast beer. I guess you could say that. Uh, this person, Shinto, they got the Tori Gate on theirs. So we've seen a, a we've seen a few Christian tombstones and like a mausoleum thing. Uh, here's a Shinto one. Ah, that tea, yummy. Love it, Corey. Yeah, it was good. Yona, uh, Yona, Yona Pale Ale. It was nice, nice and hoppy. So it looks like uh, this is uh, kind of the edge. I see a truck just drive by. So there's got to be a road heading out. Croquettes today? No, we had uh, something similar to like a chimichanga or like a, like a fried spring roll, like an egg roll kind of thing. But uh, inside it had a... Uh, fish roe and cheese, and the other one had a Mexican chorizo. Must have been well loved to have those larger plots. Yeah, I wonder how much it costs. Especially, like, just a normal one, like this one right here. Like, how much does this cost right here? Olympic is delayed? Yeah, it's gonna be next year. Next summer. <laughs> what the... Mm -hmm. You're going to go to Sleepy. Nice chatting with you. Uh, have a great night, afternoon. All right, Danny.
take it easy. Have a good night. Always awesome to see you in the streams. In the stream streams. Have a good night, okay? Less than three. Dream of Ghost Quarry with no feet in the house. Yeah. And the clap. Dripping on your face. Oh. Individual plots in the USA are like uh, 8 to 15 grand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm wondering, if maybe it's around the same here. By the wind. Where's the engine? I'm sure looking for the gate to get out of here. I don't think it's this way. Yeah, I think I gotta go back this way. Cool. You guys good? You guys got drinks and uh, snacks and stuff? Are you guys all heading to bed soon? Because I know it's pretty late. We've been streaming for almost three hours. Not what I bought in Arizona. Oh. What, what did you buy in Arizona? Where's the exit? I gotta find a map. Oh, a plot. Okay, I see. In a cemetery, right? It was 8 to 15. Or higher. Ooh, it's getting hot, guys. I have a zip-up hoodie on and a t-shirt underneath with a like a like an under shirt for like staying warm. It's getting pretty toasty. I should head to bed, unfortunately. Just uh, hard to leave the stream. All right, Swan Socks, no worries. You got to do what you got to do. Have a good night. We'll uh, catch you later. All right. Thanks for hanging out in the stream today. Man, is that one entrance I went in the only in and out of this place? Because that would be very unfortunate. That means I have to walk all the way back to get out. I need a map. Rebecca, you're gonna head off too? All right, thanks for hanging out. Peace out. Can you sing? It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. I am getting too hot. I'm gonna take my clothes off. <laughs> it's karaoke hour in the cemetery, guys. I just want to get out. Almost like tempted to hop the fence. <laughs> that would be a little bit awkward, I think. You'll get your YouTube video copyright claimed. If I do, because of me like crappily singing that song, uh, I'm going to be pissed. Eight out of ten singing. Oh, Sean, thank you. You, you are very, very, very kind. With that, uh, with that ruling, 8 out of 10? Man, I should go pro. Lost in Cemetery, that's going to be a good movie title. Sounds like fun. Ooh, check out these blossoms. These are not Sakura cherry blossoms. These are, uh, I don't know what kind of blossoms these are. These might be plum blossoms. Look how fat they are. Whoa. Very fluffy. <laughs> Lip my stockings. <laughs> yeah, so very, they look like cotton balls almost. Make me ashes and put me in a necklace. I don't need to take up space. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, turn me into like a horcrux. Make seven of them and scatter them around the world. 
Uh, Fox says, uh, bye, Corey. See you next stream. And happy anniversary. Oh, yeah, thanks. Thank you. Everyone, let's hit the like button. Yeah, Barry, what's up? Yeah, I think we reached uh, 120 likes, which is great. Our goal was to reach 101 today. So we surpassed that for sure. I wish I could be in Tokyo right now. I miss the sounds of the city. The sounds of the city. Yeah, here's a normal sakura. I just figured out what I'm going to do with my remains now. You're going to make horcruxes out of them, Richard? <laughs> and scatter them around the world? <laughs> I'm going to put mine in seven random vibrators from a sex company. And so whoever uses it five times, wherever, whoever gets it, if they use it five times, it's going to actually break open and my ass is going to go out. They're just going to come out the tip like, like, like ash spooge. Be my nice like post post-life surprise. You like that that ashy middle soup? Oh yeah. Oh, this is pretty. All these blossoms are uh, covering this little walkway. It's so hard for me not to be lewd, guys. I'm sorry. I can't control myself. This is why I like Twitch, because Twitch I can just say whatever for the most part, you know, within reason. Um, as long as it's not like racist or something. <laughs> I just, I just always get into that mode and I can't help it. I am that immature 10 year old Corey who knows every cuss word under the sun. It's hard censoring myself on, on YouTube. Uh, okay. I see a map up ahead. There's these nice big trees. Uh, Tamela says, "Don't uh, doesn't bother me. I'm pretty lewd myself. And Palma's not offended. See, that's why I love you guys. You guys get my humor. You know I'm not being, like, offensive to, like, get a rise out of people. I just like making people laugh. Hey, Patron, you're heading out. All right, take it easy. Thanks for dropping by. Corey's a maniac on Twitch. I am. We all are. That's why we're the E-Fam. We all relate. Gabriel says, I love the Twitch streams. Yeah. I wish I could... Uh, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try IRL streaming more. Oh, there's an entrance. Okay. I'm going to try IRL streaming more to Twitch. Because if I can get the same number of people here on Twitch, I could be partner already. And, uh, can actually make some money. Do your feet hurt much from walking? Uh, hurt from walking this much? Uh, no, Laura, I've got, I've got these nice, um, these, uh, Asics, Asics. These are, uh, walking shoes. They're, like, specifically for walking by, uh, Asics. They're really good, um. A6 and New Balance make some of the best walking shoes. So, yeah, my feet are very comfy. I don't even notice that I'm walking for a long time. Okay, so we made it out. I think I'm gonna try and... Maybe cross the street. Yeah, let's cross the street. Now we know you're not a ghost. Yeah, I crossed the line. I am no longer a ghost. I'm feeling your kicks, yo. Are you? You're feeling them? They're really comfy. Very, very comfy. Can walk for like days. OK. 
Okay, there's a bus stop right here. Hmm. We'll see. I'll, I'll try to wander around just for a little bit longer, guys, okay? Does this sound good? If we stumble upon, like, a place to get a drink, I'll get a drink and then just kind of chat it up with you guys for a little bit, and then I'll call the stream. It's uh, probably, like, 2 o'clock. What, what time is it now? I think it's, like, 1 o'clock here. Uh, 90 meters, 7-Eleven. All right. No trash on the ground there, so clean. Yep, gotta love Japan. Yo, Sandwich, you're heading out of here. All right, take it easy, have a good night. We'll see you in Discord, man. Have a good one. Oh, I think there's a train station up here too. I wonder if that connects to, uh, to my home station. It might. Nine PM there. Noise. You gotta get it real real early. Oh okay. Yeah man. Get some sleep, dude. You bought a few in Japan? They're great. Oh man, the seven eleven's across the street. Okay. I gotta go over there. Okay, so guys, what should I get from the convenience store? What kind of a drink should I get? I already have tea in my bag, so I guess we'll get some alcohol. Does that sound good? Let's head to downtown Tokyo. No way. I'm staying out here in the countryside. Milk tea is really good. Yeah, but uh, I'm lactose intolerant and that will definitely mess me up, unfortunately. What is this? Tokyo Craft IPA 2020, brewed in Tokyo. I've never seen that before. What's up, Jason? Welcome back. Uh, what kind of... Hmm. Should I get this Tokyo Craft? It's an IPA. Coffee? Uh, no, I don't really drink coffee these days. Uh, and I have tea in my bag, so maybe we'll just get this, huh? And then maybe, I don't know, should we get something to snack on? How much is it? It was like two, 238 or something like that. It's a strawberry cream sando, egg sandwich, chicken katsu, pork katsu. Hmm. 
see, kombu seaweed, tuna mayo, cured red salmon. I'm kind of not feeling the sandwiches. Uh, what else is over here? Okonomiyaki? <laughs> they, don't, they don't sell it here. At least I don't think so. Oh wow, they actually do have okonomiyaki. It's a little too much though. It's really big. Um, sorry, I'm scanning, I'm scanning. What do they got over here? Strawberry sweet red bean paste. How is this beef jerky dish? Oh? Here, let's check down the snack aisle. You were joking, but it's funny that they have it, yeah. Any pokey? Yeah, there's, uh, of course, pokey always. But there's only three, and they're all just like chocolate, just normal. And they've got the pretz. There's a pizza, there's fried chicken, there's salad. Mm, I'm trying to see candied cranberries and chocolate. No. Um. Those are all like, no. Yeah, they're playing Don't Stop Me Now, but it was like a, like a classical version of it. Let's see, we've got different chocolate, strawberry chocolate thing. Do they have Pejoy? It's from Poke Company. Pejoy? I don't think so. I don't see that. Yeah, uh, I don't know, guys. I'm gonna see what they have at the register, and then if if not anything there, then we'll just uh, get the beer only. It seems like a weak selection. Chips, uh, there's some breads. Uh, what is this? There's a corn and mayonnaise sandwich bread thing. That seems really weird. Let's get it. Corn and mayonnaise sandwich bread thing. Let's do it. It's so weird that we have to do it. Oh, they have this plastic sheet to prevent uh, vapor. Look at that. Oh. Do you see it? The plastic sheet? Yeah, 
Yes. Okay, guys. The pinky was missing. Was it? Was she legit? Okay. Uh, sorry. Let me um get this together here. Oh God, it's windy. Yeah, for science, mayo corn bread, and then we've got a, a Tokyo craft beer IPA for sure. Um. It's funny, check out this sign on the cigarette thing. It says, uh, I threw my cigarette butt into the drain. That is to say, I hit it in the drain. What? Is it this drain? They're using the AT shield from Evangelion? <laughs> yeah, I think so. You got those sheets? Yeah, I've never seen that sheet in a convenience store before. So that's the first time. That's pretty cool. They're preventing like any kind of possible like mouth moist vapor <laughs> being spread. Has science gone too far? Tune in next time. Okay, so I think uh, there's a wall right here. It's kind of windy though. Maybe if I get closer to it, it won't be so windy. It's a bit windy. All right, you guys doing okay? Chat? They put up large plastic shields to protect uh, cashiers. Oh, that's great. They need to do that everywhere. Don't moist vapor me, bro. <laughs> Don't moist vape me, bro. Um, all right, so I apologize for the noise. Can you guys see me? It's a bit... Uh, the sun. It's a little weird area behind the convenience store. But yeah, we've got this uh, Tokyo Craft IPA 2020. How are you doing, Corey? Uh, I'm doing good, Pixel. Yeah, hanging out. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna drink this uh, Tokyo Craft IPA 2020, and then we're gonna try out this uh, corn mayo. Corn. It, just, it actually says it in English, corn and mayonnaise. So this is going to be very uh, gross or awesome. Love the color on that beer can. Yeah, it's very cool, uh, like green, blue, kind of nice, nice color. Like I wouldn't mind having a car, like two-tone like this, dark and light. That's kind of cool. So let's crack this open real quick. Oh yeah. They have plexiglass at 7-Eleven in Publix here. That's great, Laura. They need that. Kind of similar to like some of those like uh, liquor stores in the States that are kind of like in really shady neighborhoods and there's like all like bulletproof plexiglass. All right. Oh, smells good. All right, cheers guys, come bite. Oh yeah, that's good. Nice IPA. I think this one's better than the one that I had earlier. But that one was just a pale ale. It wasn't an India pale ale. Alright, and um, we're opening up this uh, corn, corn and mayo. Yeah. Oh god, I hope the wind doesn't blow over the stabilizer. It's getting, it's getting windy. Uh, let's look at it. Yeah, here you can see the corn and mayo. You see it? Look at that. Where's where, too bad sandwich is not here. He would like this. So it's just corn and mayo. That's a ton of mayo. <laughs> oh my god. Korean convenience store competition in Japan. Which one do you prefer to go to? Uh, it's tough because they're they're all pretty good. Why does the bread look soggy? Because it is. It's like very soggy-ish. It's like flatbread. It's like a flatbread, but it's uh, very moist. Moist flatbread, and look at that. Look at that. Look at the corn mayo, guys. Just just look at it. Look at it now. <laughs> this mayo is insane. Out of control. Yeah, Danny's not here either. No. Oh, God, the wind. Percentage alcohol on this one? 
Uh, seven, seven percent. All right, guys. Corn mayo on soggy, moist bread. Oh God, it's just like mayo on my fingers. All right, itadakimasu. It's so much mayonnaise, oh my God. I feel like I'm eating. I feel like I'm eating mayonnaise out of the jar with a spoon. The bread is super moist. Don't knock until you try it. No. Oh. Tastes like it looks. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. It's, to be honest, it's actually not that bad. It's very, very creamy. Creamy and savory. Does the corn taste good? Tastes alright. Yeah, cheers, Blue. God. So awkward. Yeah, let's look at this. There it is. Man, there's just so much mayonnaise. Like, it's just oozing. Oh, God, it's out of focus. Oh, God, it's going to fall. It was 128 yen. It's like 110 cents or something, a uh, dollar ten cents, something like that. Um, not bad, not bad. Um, I think this would be good as like munchies food. Like if you're like really drunk or high or something like that, it would be okay. Uh, Laura says, "I'm eating Cheetos and drinking water. I feel so basic. That's not basic." If it was just water and you're like eating ice, then that'd be pretty basic. Palma says, okay, sadly have to go. Happy anniversary, Corey. See you all on the next stream. Take care, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Have a good one, M. Palma. We'll see you next time. I can't believe I'm eating this. It's a lot of mayonnaise. But they spent money on it, so I got to eat it, guys. We got to finish it. Uh, wash it down the gullet. I like mayo, but too much is no good. Yeah, this is like borderline too, like... A little bit less would be better. I think it's just a little past the borderline of like too much. Um, Tamela says, I gotta get going sleepy and have to work in the AM. Bye, take it easy. Thank you so much for hanging out today and for the super chat donation. We'll see you next time, okay? Oh, I gotta, my phone just gave me the 10% battery warning. Good. All right, now it's charging. Ew, mayonnaise. The mayonnaise is great, but this is like a Japanese mayonnaise. It's like QP, uh, QPI or QP, however you want to say it. Mayonnaise. Moist meter is over nine thousand, definitely. Anyway, really weird, but. But not bad, not bad. I've had worse things from a convenience store. Yeah, so, um, I think I'll talk with you guys for like another minute and then we'll like wrap it up, okay? Let you guys go to sleep. Let me figure out how to get home. <laughs> so, 
Um, yeah, thanks for uh, coming out with me today. Thanks for hanging out with my uh, uh, during my one year um, return to Japan anniversary. One year. Um, yeah, see you next week. Oh, there's a kid leaving his house. Can you see him in the background? Yeah, so thanks for tuning in, guys. Really, really, I appreciate it. Um, to everybody that's um, locked down, I hope this video, uh, this stream was good for you guys. You know, help you feel like you're out of the house and uh, get to see more of Japan and stuff. I apologize once again for the wind noise. Bye, kid. Where's your mask? Um, but yeah, please take care of yourselves. Uh, we got to keep just locked down until they make a vaccine. That's kind of what my... My goal is I'm just trying to like lock down myself until a vaccine is produced and we can you know start spreading that around the world and uh, take care of this shit so whoa excuse me corn mayo burp it's fantastic <laughs> Roy's like great yeah lady lady lady's been lurking I think this whole time but yeah, please take care of yourselves, guys. And um, I'll uh, hopefully try to stream again next week. Uh, keep you posted on Discord and Twitter and the YouTube community tab and that kind of stuff. And uh, as mentioned before, uh, I do Twitch streaming. It would be very cool to do these kinds of streams except on Twitch. If we had the same number of people tuning in all the time, um, we could hopefully push for Twitch partner so I could actually make some like real money from that. From here, you know, I get, uh, like, not much money at all. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much. Oh, Memes Reaction with the $5. Hope you enjoyed your one year back in Japan. God bless. Hey, thank you so much, Memes. Arigatou gozaimasu. Let's get some hearts in chat for Memes Reaction. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, you guys helped me, like, uh, uh, you know, afford to buy these different things from the convenience stores and, like, the vending machines and stuff and uh, try it out for y'all. So... Anyways, guys, much love. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, be safe, guys. Please, please be safe. Take care of one another. And um, I'll see you guys uh, next time. Let me try to finish this beer. Ah, finished. Okay. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye, have a good night, have a good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Peace out.